hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line, more than a half a million to be exact. Ali, you saw just a moment ago, he folded ace-deuce yeah. suited pre-flop. That tells you how much his game has changed. Now 7-6 of hearts, just pretty hands and quick folds. Older limps in blind versus blind with the king four. Adam says the ten six off. Savick says, do you guys believe in the YouTube poker boom? Does that refer to, like, the vloggers sparking a, I, a boom? I, don't, or, I mean, these giant streams, I, I'm not sure. Clearly, there's a, a large presence on YouTube. Poker Go, we just celebrated yesterday, acquiring our 250,000 subscriber mark. So I don't really know if it's a boom, but it's good for the game overall, the overall YouTube interest. Got to be there on all the platforms, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. The site your cousin's on. Just kidding. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you just drop a, a cousin... <laughs> reference and what site is that I just said you have to be relevant on all platforms platforms what platforms I said you got uh, YouTube Twitch Facebook TikTok TikTok kids love TikTok. Twitter I don't really get Instagram it. The site your cousin's on? Why my co wh Why do you point out my cousin? I'm just saying you've got to cover following? all platforms. Yeah. yeah. Kristen's very popular. How's she doing, by the way? She's wonderful, Jeff. Just had a just had a baby. Good for her. Wondering. Congratulations yeah. right. to the fam. Beautiful stuff. Tim P, the speed of play has been painful. Agreed. Fair. Tim, I think uh, most would agree. And, you know, no fault really to the players. Absolutely it's just not. simply the rules. They are allowed to take this much time. That is. And therefore, I can't blame them on a $560,000 bubble. But we agree with what you're saying. And Try to continue to look for ways to improve pace of play. I think Triton showed us a little bit at the beginning of the series with what you could do with the shot clock, and you have some ideas as well. 685. We do have a shot clock for this event. It's a 30-second shot clock, 30 seconds pre-flop and on each street. Players are given time banks that act as 30-second extensions. We could have... A little mm -hmm. development here. Adams, ace high. Blind versus blind against Ali, who is the short stack. There we go. 685. Yeah. Nobody home for Ali.
Oh, I thought he was dropping off more time banks for a second. So the Poker Go Hold'em map is here. Free to play online poker on your Android, on your iPhone, on your computer. You sound so excited about Fire it. Fire it up. Yeah. Listen to Brent Moore. Yeah, it's, it's good. PokerGoHold'em.com. You can play it right now on your computer, right Jeff. Now. You should go to the website. No, I'm very focused. Log in. I'm very locked in on the broadcast. Get that account Thank going. You. I'm going to work on your uh, custom avatar as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we sell it off to the people. That'll be very popular. Oh, yeah. Market. Yeah. Just I'll get buzzing. a little piece. Right. Sure. About four bucks after all the sales. Jasper Ali going with the Stu Unger look now. I can kind of see it. A it's the different, different style yeah. of shades. The modern version of it, perhaps. I am curious from the chat, uh, who is everyone rooting for? Mm, good question. I haven't really been able to pick up that vibe. It's got the largest fan base here. Who do we want to take this thing home? Let us know. And who would you guess is going to be the most popular answer? My guess? Yeah. My guess would be Ali. I think but so, too, just based on... Could be very wrong. Name recognition? Alone. Yeah. I have a follow-up question once we receive okay, the answers we'll here, who everyone's rooting for. Oh, Paul could be a popular pick, too. Oh, yeah, Paul Poir. How do you not root for Paul Poir? Do you have the stats department tallying up the results? I'm just kind of looking. Okay. A lot of Mulder, a lot of Ali and Paul. Those are your top three. few for Vogues. Haven't seen much love for Schindler. Here comes... D.C. Chandler's rooting for Helmuth. <laughs> Aren't we all? Queens for Amshurovich on the button. Oh, my. He's been waiting for a premium. He found it. A little bit more than 15 bigs. Uh-oh. Oh, saying the Jack-4 suit in. Yeah. Vogel oh. saying defense. And nine deuce, one heart, couple backdoor draws for Vogel say. All these queens are best. sort of hoping that Vogues is connected in some way, shape, or form, defending reasonable texture to have those thoughts. Very curious about the sizing. Typically, big hands, we do size it up. It's a world in which he decides to take a different route to try and induce. All in. Oh, wow, yeah, size it up. Sizing indeed. up, yes. It's not going to work here, but plenty of scenarios in which that does. Yeah, 9 or a 10, I think we just double. call, thinking, what does this guy yeah. have, really? That's a little shot of that bracelet that's going on. I can't quite make out what it is, but 
Over under a hundred dollars, Jeff. The cost of the For bracelet. For that one, I would yeah. say over. Hmm. You? I'd go over. Everything he's wearing today looks rich. Uh, you're right. The watch, the shades. Hey, stem for Molda. Luis asks, is this really live? Answer is yes. Oh, yeah, we're here, Luis. Very live. Darius, such a bizarre all-in. He would only get called by better or some open-ended. So I, don't, I, I don't disagree. So, yeah. I mean, you trying to tell me top pair isn't calling? <clears throat> Even maybe a nine? A nine might call there. He's four suited for Adams. Mulder has been sticky uh -huh. from the blind situations. Most are, right? Here we let it go, 6-5. Just you know. pay your respects to the under-the-gun open from Adams. Again, we expect extremely tight play on this bubble situation that's worth more than half a million dollars. Next player out will take home zero. Taylor says, when the players aren't talking, it kind of sounds like Jeff on Tinder. A bunch of shuffling sounds and someone saying pass. <laughs> Astute observation and pretty accurate. Very accurate. Pretty accurate. By the sounds of it, Jeff, yeah. Matt says, really appreciate you guys not including the pay structure in the video description or a link to it. Really great production you have. Well, thank you, Matt. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Could also just head over to pgt.com to find all of that information, but who wants to bother doing that? And just so you know, Matt, that's not really a production note. Right. That's more that for the YouTube. Piece. Yeah, yeah, so we'll let that department know, but it's not really production. But thank you for the kind words. Seems like a slight overreaction, but you know. Appreciate the donation, Geo. Future uh, commentator here for the Stoned Ape community. Well, that sounds well, kind of fun. Slark says two most overhated commentators in the poker world. What is what does that mean? I don't know. I don't really ever really feel too much hate. But I'll take it. Yeah, I think we take that. 
Unless he just meant to say overrated. And that's probably accurate, too. Well, you're an award-winning commentator, Oh, that's Joe. true. But, but that could lead to you believing I'm overrated, right? No. Schindler opens here with Ace Jack. I'll leave with the Jack 8 off. There's no thanks. Uh, poker idiot in the chat says, Greetings from Slovenia. Loving the commentary. Keep it up. Thank you very much. And Slovenia, of course, the homeland of one Luka Doncic. How is we Luka? Luka, got a little Luka gets better. A little calf strain. Bum leg. Doesn't Guy's always great. hurt, Jeff. I, I, I got to tell you, Luca's soft. Oh, boy. Very mushy. They got a shot, though, right? Got a shot. It would be a little bit better shot if Luca was able to go. But Jeff, he's okay. You know, he's, he's got a cast strain, man. Cast Those strain. Are he's all right. I'd be surprised if he played tomorrow. <laughs> Alex says, uh, I mean, I think it's more your tone of voice that makes you overrated, kind of dull sounding, but I guess you are quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to me or you? I don't know. It's phenomenal. That's pretty though. good, though. Lee Grant. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun having Jeff and Amanda take shots of Buffalo hot sauce. Go Bills. I think it was Maria that had to do the uh, shot of hot sauce, right? Did Amanda do Maria it? Maria and I. Yeah, I, I know you think, and Maria. Yeah, did, I, don't, yeah. I don't think we did. Amanda and I would just get weird during Friday Night Poker. Yes, you would. Ooh. Pan says, I got a calf strain getting out of bed. It's kind of like the guy to my left. Could see that happening. <coughs> Brian says, go Bills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go Buffalo. Can't wait. Is the NFL almost here? Uh, no, not not really. Did you see Josh Allen and his girlfriend made TMZ yesterday? I didn't. No, that's... that's First time, I think, ever step. that a Buffalo... Uh, other than OJ, the first time a <laughs> Buffalo Bill has made... TMZ. They were going to dinner, and they just got In lit LA up by... Something? Yeah, TMZ nailed him. I mean, he's got a bit of a smoke show girlfriend, so that I'm was... Sure TMZ is all about that sort Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. David points out the draft is next week. It is right here it in is. Las Vegas. I might have to attend. You're going to go? I mean, why not? It's the closest I'll well, get to the, uh, the Bills you, on the West Coast. Do you have a family Coast. wedding to attend? No, it's the, the following weekend. Oh, sorry. it's in two, The draft is the weekend of the 28th, I believe. Oh, I thought it was next week. Very gotcha, end of gotcha, April. Gotcha. I do have a family wedding uh, a week from today. Gotcha. If you want to attend, there might be some uh, oh, awesome. Hank's family members there that could be single. Oh, Jeff. hello. It could be a part of the might family. Might be your sort, yeah. of, your sort of scene. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cammy says, Jeff, I heard you're single. You can marry my sister if you're rich. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but. You don't want to marry the sister? No, no, no. I'm just the, the rich part. Gonna need some work. 
Ja. Now, if you ever do get married again, <laughs> again, well, I haven't been you were very before. close one time before, but been where before. was that wedding supposed to be? Dallas. In Dallas. Yeah. So if it ever happens, are you thinking maybe Dallas? I don't. Uh, at this point, I don't really care. How about just a little <laughs> chapel here in <laughs> yeah, Vegas, whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'd love to attend. Oh, here we go. Oh, baby. Some action yes. finally as Vogel saying opens on the button with the ace queen Jake Schindler as two tens in the small blind. A little less than 25 bigs to start the hand. In for most of it. Wow. Folks might have enough of it to want to play for it all. This is a close wow. spot, believe it or not, but the money may go in. Schindler could be flipping for his tournament life here. He's hoping just fold, man. Let me live. The all-in wow. and the call, and here we go. A massive flip on the Stone Cold Bubble. Schindler all-in and at risk with tens. Vogel saying with ace-queen. What a crucial flip this is. Oh, and eight, eight, eight. It's just tens full. It's just tens full for Jake Schindler. And a blow at the moment to Vogel saying stack. We do have turn river to come. But that it's will over. lock it up. 2020. There's only 125 bit chip in. With that now, Schindler becomes our chip leader. Vogel sang a little chunk out of the tractor. You think Ali Amshurovich was rooting for his buddy Jake on that <laughs> I'm one, I'm not Jeff? sure on that I don't one. Know. He remains our short stack here. The bubble will continue. Well, that's one way to win a flip, just have it come 10 8 8. Made it look easy, didn't he? Now a quarter of the chips in play belong to Jake Schindler, the 2017 Super High Roller Bowl runner-up to Christoph Vogelsang. Doubles through him here. Shurovich at 680k, everybody else over a milli. Vogel saying the Queen Jack of Hearts. Back to tending to the crops. Former farmer Vogel saying, known as the tractor. Looking to make a little hay here, Jeff. Queen Jack suited. Adams with the 10 9. Just lets it go after looking over at Ali's stack. Play is going to be pretty tight in most spots. On this bubble, a $560,000 bubble.
Chin in the chat says just lost twenty dollars on soccer. It's okay. It's a long day ahead to just get right back. Well, that's what on you get grind. for betting on soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Aiden, how are we doing on on our tennis fires? I'm sure, the early this a.m. Soccer game was a high scoring affair. Oh, they haven't started yet, God. So we haven't lost. I'll leave with threes. All of it. Gets through. Yeah, Much thrilled. needed chips and he's, from Shurovich. He's thrilled that that was just a snap fold for Schindler. Didn't have to sweat that one out for too long. Thank you guys all for tuning in here. Yes on our broadcast on Poker Go's YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, just click on subscribe. Yep. Do it right now. We are continuously trying to grow this page. While you're at it, click that thumbs up or like button. It really means a great deal to us. <coughs> we want to continue to provide free content here on our YouTube channel. The more support you show us, the more support we will show in return. People in the chat, decent amount, say we should say football instead of soccer. Yeah, a well, football when referencing the Buffalo Bills or any NFL teams. Other than that, it's soccer. Oh, boy. Yeah, we have an international audience, and we're in Europe. I mean, we, you and I are, are not, but. Yeah, but Jeff, I am the typical ignorant American. Yeah, that's here, the, well, right? that's true. I mean, this Nobody, is to be expected. Nobody's arguing that point. Right. I don't mind soccer when they, you know, I like the pre-match and post-match when they get in fights on the street, in the uh, at the pubs. I think it's a little intense. Yeah. Sort of the Green uh, Street like the hooligans kind of thing. Yeah, I think the U.S. probably wins the World Cup this year, don't you think? Yeah, we're no doubt about pretty it. Pretty good. Qualified should qualified. We really made it. We're, if we're in there, and we're probably what plus two hundred, probably two. Got to be a big favorite. Yeah, yeah, that'll be wonderful. Lexi Lawless still play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the star. Tony Meal is he the goalkeeper? No, that's uh Who's our striker? Tim Howard is the goalkeeper. Yeah. Striker is um Pusilich. Pusilich? How do you say his name, Aiden? Christian Pulisic. 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 Plays for Chelsea, so you know he's good when he doesn't bother oh, playing. In, when he doesn't bother playing in the U.S., he's probably good for the U.S. to have. Yeah, for the Chelsea, big program, big program. Don't get me out. Uh, I'm, I'm with this guy on baseball, by the way, with uh, hairy skin back, which you should probably get that looked at. But you cannot argue sport with an American. They have their own baseball league and call the end of it the World Series. Yeah, that is silly. Kind of silly. I mean, there's a lot of tradition there. But yeah. has ba baseball stinks now, right? We think poker can drag on and take forever. But baseball. They pace the play in what baseball. have they done to the, ga the great game of baseball? They got to fix that. Borderline unwatchable. They pulled that guy out the other day. He was throwing a perfect game. Oh, yeah. What was up with that? What are That's we doing? That's ridiculous. What happened to the glory? One of the only ways to bring people back to the game by those kind of monumental accomplishments. And it's just like, oh, seven innings, good work. And just 80 pitches. Doesn't even sound like that many pitches. Let the guy rock and fire. Did you guys see the graphic like back in 1912? This guy was, who was pitching was hit by lightning. <laughs> they revived him, and then he just finished the game. That's real? <laughs> and we, can't, we can't have more than 80 That's pitches. That's a real thing? I, I mean, I saw it on Twitter. It must be wow. real, right? 
Doc Ellis was on LSD <laughs> back in the 70s and threw a no-hitter. I mean, now that was – those are the glory days of the game of baseball. You know, you got guys smoking cigarettes <laughs> on the bench. Yeah. And some cold beers. Yeah, just a pile of chow in the mouth. Tim P, can we get some poker fights? I mean, that would spice it up. Wouldn't mind it. Could have it. some. Usually every year there's one or two yeah. conflicts, right? People slugging it out. But then when they see each other in person, it usually dies down. I think that's the one thing I like about hockey, by the way. Yeah. You can fight. Yeah, I love that. They let them fight. We need more of that in baseball. Charge the mound. You know, let them let them rip. Down. And fair point by Pan Hall. People watching poker complaining about soccer and baseball. Fair. Fair, fair. With some pace issues. Tell you what I'm excited for, Jeff. Poker related as we drift away from the boring sports that are baseball, soccer. And we focus uh, on the exciting poker action. Uh, yeah. Well, how about this? April 21st to the 23rd. Oh, yes. How about I the Heads Up Showdown? This. 32 players committed, $25,000 buy-in. We're going to do a bracket reveal show, you and I. Yes. On April 19th. Yes. To see who is going to play who. Um, I can throw some names out there of folks that oh, are committed please. to play. This might be the first time this has been revealed. Oh, don't In reveal fact, too much. I'm texting back allowed. and forth. Well, I don't care. Okay. I'm texting back and forth with Sean Deeb at the moment. So you want oh, table go. talk? You want slow rolls? You want a little controversy? Well, you got them. Sean Deeb will be in there. Phil Helmuth in the mix. Maria Ho. Nick Schulman, not on the mic, but in the game. Chino Ream. Darren Elias. Nice. Negranu. Ali Amshurovich. Eric Seidel, Alex Fox, and Scott Seaver. And how about this guy? Ready for him? The Dirty Diaper himself. Rigby. Nicholas Rigby from the World Series of Poker Let's this go. year. He'll be in the mix. What a lineup. It's going to be an absolute blast. Clearly there are others that will be joining us. So that will be Tuesday night on YouTube, our own version of Selection Sunday. Yeah. We'll selection, reveal the bracket. Yep. And then we get going – on Thursday with rounds rounds one and two? I believe so, yeah. I'll be on sidelines for that event. Looking forward to it. good structure too it's not going to be like uh, the matches aren't going to be designed to last you know for an eternity much like oh, this okay. so final good is it table like an but exciting it, it, yeah structure. we're going to get these things over and done with i'd say within a couple of hours and that's perfect move on yeah again that'll be a twenty-five thousand dollar buy-in first place will take home four hundred thousand dollars this is very similar to what we 
I shouldn't say we, but to what was formerly known as the NBC Heads Up Championship. This will be the Heads Up Showdown. How many spots pay out? Top four. Nice. We'll okay. get paid. Ali will be thrilled to sneak this one yeah, home. Every pot's very crucial for Mr. Adam says Sharvich. nothing. Becky Boop, is this a poker game I'm watching? Is there any reason no one is playing any pots? Yeah, Becky. We're on the Stone Cold bubble right now. Six or less back and, at hand. Uh, uh, you're going to see a lot of tight folds, tight play. Everyone trying to avoid going home with zero dollars. Good question by Frog. Is the draw random or is it seated for the heads up showdown? Is it say it again? Is the draw completely random or do you have Oh players totally seats? random. Yep. Yeah, totally random. In fact, we're gonna have Paul Campbell from the Aria join us for that, representing the Aria, and we're gonna do the whole drawing right then and there. We're using four types of brackets. Spades, clubs, hearts, diamonds, and we're going to select for each one of those brackets to determine the matchups, the time of the matchups. And, of course, you know, we can't feature every single one, but we'll select what are, what are the best matchups, and that's what we're going to air. But we will have, you know, something at the feature table and then outer feature table, and we'll have coverage all over the Poker Go studio. Dean asks, what's the payout for top three? First place, $3.2 million. Second place, a little more than $2 million. Third place, $1,280,000. Fourth place, eight hundred eighty dollars Fifth place, $560,000. Sixth place, $0.00. And zero cents. <laughs> Liam Shurovich bubbled this very tournament last year. Is the shortest stack. And he does have the ace nine suited on the button. And Schindler, yeah, we're opening wide as the chip leader. Not necessarily too wide, right? Suited connectors would make sense. These sorts of Broadway holdings. This is a close one for Ali, ace nine suited. The non all in three bet to 200,000. And you sort of wonder would he ever three bet fold a hand as good as ace nine suited? Oh my gosh, we are going to find out. Vogel Sang wakes up with the Rockets. Not just the ace of spades, the ace of clubs as well for Christoph Vogel Sang. Here comes the cold four. To 375,000. Two quick folds, frustrating for Ali. I'll tell you what, Jeff, it is frustrating indeed, no doubt about it. However, credit to Ali 
for simply just finding the three bet to 200,000, yeah. not going all in with ace nine of diamonds off of that relatively shorter stack, allows himself to get away, understanding he was completely crushed. Vogel saying has zero, and I mean zero bluffs in that spot. So I'll lead down to less than 15 bigs. Oh, and now God. it's Vogel saying with Queens. No longer napping, continuously waking up. Back to back premiums. The tractor plowing ahead. Just oh. limps in here. Schindler with the jack nine. We talked about how balanced these guys are. Vogel saying able to limp in. We've seen it with dust time and time again. Now mixes in a premium. It was king at nine five. Pair of nines for Schindler. Queen on the turn. So the set of queens for Vogel saying the gutter for Schindler. Yeah. Always lovely making a set. Of course, Schindler's collected four more outs. And again, the way Vogel saying has pursued this hand could we ever get any value this he's checking and hoping that schindler has collected oh my gosh 10 on the river the straight comes in for schindler schindler just gets there in a tiny pot considering all that we've seen, Vogel saying has not put an extra chip into the middle. Look at this. Just checking a set How again on this Schindler one liner. Look for here. It's a total one-liner. You know, Vogel saying, well, certainly has a hand good enough where we have to call. If Schindler sizes this up, I'm not really sure. As played. Hot size bat, 120K. You just have to call yeah. with the set. Show me a winner. Maybe there's a world in which he thinks we can find a check raise, but seems silly considering the one-liner that's out there. Any jack, we're not getting that hand to fold. Wings in the call. We'll pay Schindler off. He kind of wants to show it, right? Yeah, he's he like, does. look you can what tell. I have. Yeah, look what I have this whole time. Decides against it. Schindler fired up to extend his chip lead.
<laughs> Nima says, Vogel saying even slow folding. <laughs> <That's kind of laughs> funny. It's mucking. Yeah, he's been, uh, Volks has been a, a bit of a polarizing character at this final table. People are loving him and hating him quite equally. I'll tell you what, he's one of the nicest, most so genuine true. people so true. you'll talk to. He really is. Family man. Very reserved. Ali. His antics at the table, yeah, they are uh, awfully slow. Ali committed, Jeff. And for most of it with the king queen. Looking to slide this one home. Otherwise, it's time to gamble. And I believe he has. You're allowed to be two things, right? You're allowed to be a remarkably nice human being. Yep. Great poker Extremely player. polite. Never going to have an issue, never behavior-wise. We'll never say anything or get out of line. And you're also allowed to be terribly slow. <laughs> yeah. He's 10 for only opens here. All right, a little build, a little climb yeah. for Ali now back up to near 800,000. 20 bigs. 740? Yep. Good question by Pan. Who's ahead in the PGT standings? Last I knew, Ali and Phil were close. Ali Amshurovich is on top of the PGT 2022 leaderboard. About uh, 115 points ahead of Phil Ivey. But a cash today would earn him at least 168 more points. It would, but don't count out Phil Ivey. Sure. He's also in the hunt right now playing the outer short deck event. He and Jason Kuhn are top two in chips. Uh, I'd say it's a relatively small turnout, seven players. So a single table sit and go. And those payouts and points will count towards the PGT leaderboard. Or so. I see. I see. Bear with us. Yeah, we might. I don't. Are we? Are we gone too? Can you guys hear us in the chat? You like how I did the Fs in the chat? Like I'm kind of the cool, young, cool kid who knows to put F in the chat. What does that mean? Freeze? Well, when the, it goes down, you're supposed to Fs in the chat. Fs in the chat. Well, yeah. I'm going to put out an F then. Yeah, put out an F. All right, F. Okay, they can hear us. All right, well, cool. Jeff, let's get back to talking about your personal life. Oh, okay. We're, Maybe we're, we're going to put up a slate, slate and try yeah. and get this fixed. Okay, so you don't want to talk about yourself? Nope, I'd rather put up a slate.
All right, here we go. Welcome back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Have it all resolved. Jeff Pine alongside Brent Hanks. Final table, Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Paw Paw opened here. Schindler thought about that one for a while. Ended up laying it down. You think that was the same hand we left off on? I don't know. I don't know where the big blind was. I haven't really paid attention much. You? Not really with us, huh? <laughs> no. I'm here, baby. Uh, 680. You? Oh, we heard Ali. He's got 680. Boy, he has been putting up one heck of a fight. If you're not familiar with what happened one year ago, Ali Amsharovich was the stone bubble in this very event, trying to avoid a similar fate. Got the chips in with the ace deuce suited against Wichter Malinowski's ace king. All the kids are doing it these days, That's Jeff. True. The ace the wheel shot. card, yeah. Suited variety, and it's just all in. Malinowski went on to win the event. All he said to stew over that 500k bubble. King 9 suited for Mulder. You got to give Mulder a lot of credit. There was a stage of this final table on this bubble where it looked like, man, the end was near for him. He made two huge laydowns, both incorrect. Still alive and thriving. And flopping a nine here. The Prince of Poultry, terrible texture. Big blind defense. Seemingly range advantage Mulder. However, Adams is under the gun. If he does bet, if he does bet repping strong, he knuckles back. What a beautiful sight to see on Ace the turn. on the turn. Employing pot control, Adams knuckling back that ace. Understanding the dynamics of this board where oh so slippery and wet. Perhaps now we try and eke out a little value with, the, with our holding. Can we get a call from a nine or a ten? Stone pot control for Adams. And that is sort of the the situation, right? This yeah. ICM bubble scenario. Just happy to collect any pot. Notice Ali there, pocket fours right into the muck with that stack. And it looks like the last hand before break. Players heading for the hills, maybe the beach. Vogel sang. I don't know, Jeff, maybe not a beach guy. 
No, but w like we said yesterday, we could see him sitting out there for a little bit. Well, in that exact outfit. Yeah. yeah. You know, Toes in the water. Taking a stroll. You roll up the pants a little bit, let Absolutely your feet have to roll hit the, the pants. water, soak in some rays. Yeah. Just the nose. But put some sunscreen on the nose. Right. Older King Queen in the small bind, about 30 bigs. Six hundred. Three bet to 600K. Fold, fold. A little momentum going into break for Toon Mulder. Well, we'll raise the blinds when we come back. The stacks will get a little bit shallower. A $560,000 bubble continues. You're watching Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay with us. It begins in this city, in this venue, at these tables. 56 players will enter this room, each with a singular goal, winning the Super High Roller Bowl. I would say that the Super High Roller Bowl is the best tournament of the year, and I say that with confidence. $300,000 gets you in, six million awaits the winner. Of the one event on earth for the highest stakes with the toughest field for the biggest money. The 2017 Super High Roller Bowl. This is where it begins. Let's play some poker boys. And back down to the fell. This feels like last year. Somewhat, perhaps. A suited connector is is a nice hand to have in your small blind three betting range versus really any. Oh my goodness. And what about the, is it nice when this happens? Cause this is a classic, uh oh. Wow, I mean. Top uh, set against a straight. A cooler like this, this early, involving Phil Helmuth is, uh, is really astounding. What sort of run out can Helmuth possibly get away from here other than four to a flush or a straight perhaps? The, the runouts that Helmuth gets away from kind of slow down the, the action anyway were it to be an eight of clubs or jack of clubs. So, Correct. of course, that's nice for Phil. Uh, this, it goes without saying, is, is really problematic. And he does elect to raise the flop and, and oh boy. Bottom, I'm as random seemingly as, as Phil can be, when he raises seven, nine, ten with two clubs and a three bet pot, it generally indicates strength of some sort. Correct. Whether, whether it's. What's the bottom end of that strength, though? And, and Phil, most of the time, would call here on the flop with king, queen of clubs because he doesn't want to have to either get it in or simply incinerate that equity. And Bottom elects to call, which is. And he picks up a flush draw to go with his 10 high straight on the turn. Not that he's concerned about being up against Jack-8, of course. Does Phil find that, that pot control -y check button somehow with, with three tens? I don't think so, although there are vulnerabilities to this hand sometimes. And a lot of cards on the river you don't want to see. There, you do want to protect against a lot of cards you don't want to see, but you have to think about the overall scenario in the tournament. Everything comes into play. There are some benefits to checking here, but it's very hard. 60,000. Oh Justin boy. could easily uh, check jam here, That's given that he could pick up a variety of draws. Seven X of hearts. This is going to be, in all likelihood, yeah. You may want to put the greens on the bottom. Just An all-in you know, from Justin, and, and oh, I know. wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, could King Jack of Clubs factor in here? Wait, I'm giving too much information. Certainly you fear King Jack of Clubs, uh, or King Jack in general, uh, if, if you're in Phil's seat. Uh, uh, Although check thing. raising the flop with King Jack in general same. less likely, I would imagine, no? Could happen, same thing from Justin, you fear running into a straight, my god. There it is. And it's all in the middle. 
Oh my god. I escape. Oh man, I, it's gonna be hard to pair the board. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this needs I a seven nine or queen here. Sense. Wow, fill them out. Thirty minutes will get that. Ten will work as well. I'll oh, we'll go take a time with mm -hmm. fifteen. I just made it for the three bet for the four to four. I knew you were going to three bet me light a lot today. That's what I do. I know. Wow, what a flop for you. It's amazing. That depends on the oh. card. <laughs> no, I said what a flop for you. Oh yeah. my god, wait till people get this update. <laughs> and the three on the river. <laughs> guys, oh I'm my god. Try to outplay me. The best player in the world. He's gonna re-race Phil with 8-6. He's gonna flop top set, and I'm gonna flop the straight. And the stack sizes begin to increase as the field condenses. I'm sure we'll see some even bigger pots. Wake up, cards. Ace-10 suited for Czar Rast. That was his online handle. It was. I've tussled with him many times, both mm -hmm. online and live. You were the takeover. The take I still am the takeover. You still Ali. are. Okay. I haven't rumbled with you online in so long. Yeah, I'm around from time to time when I duck out of the country and get that itch. Of course, online poker no longer available, except for specific states here in the U.S. Ridiculous. We're talking New Jersey, Nevada. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. A little bit shocking. Certainly Thanks. disappointing for the big fans yeah, of the game. Uh, Everybody suited here. Nice guy. Right. And the board, two clubs. Queen 8 6. Good. Rast with the nut flush draw. Hart with the flush draw and open ended straight draw. And Katz with a pair of eights. Serious connection to the board via Rast and Hart. And, and given that Kevin is sporting a 20 some odd BB stack, slightly more, I, I believe. Thousand. Very likely to be going in here versus Rast. I'm all in. I'm all in. And sure enough, of course, the correct play for Kevin. Oh. And Rast says, I have to call. He happens to have the best hand, and it's got Kevin like in pretty rough shape. A two to one dog for Kevin, and, and rough seven, shape indeed. Hey, you still got a bunch of oh, I know, I got out. I just didn't want to see that. Yes, that's true. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> see ace queen. Yeah. Don't forget about the red nine. Where's the red seven? Yeah, nine. Just put it straight out there. Nine. Blank it out, put it straight out there. Just anything but a club. Blank it out, put it straight out there. Got a wrap. A wrap about. The holding wrap. Minus the club. That's not my special piece. Not really mine anymore either. And here's the turn card. Oh, it's a flop. That straight. So now it is Brian over a four to one dog hunting for those clubs. Only seven of them. That's my girl. That's my girl, huh? Come on, mad dog. At least there's a. Hold on, mad dog. Here comes the river. It's a seven, and Kevin Hart. No. Hart retains no. life. Uh, kicking that <laughs> Kicking that <laughs> Oh, boy. Can you believe Bogle saying wakes up with Can you please be quiet? I'm asking you very nice. You can't say anything. Yeah, you can't. Where, where is that in the world? Can you call the floor, floor, You really can't floor. even say a word. Floor. That's not a role in poker. Yeah, yeah, it is. What, talking? You can't talk right now. Only heads up. Everybody's getting a little testy, Ali. Oh, listen, a lot of money hanging in the balance. That's There's right. Stress getting to folks. So Kernick and Kuhn are about oh, to throw down. To hand. Ten circles. What's the rule? You are allowed to talk. Even with three-handed, him three left. Handed, absolutely. Not. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Uh, can I have 30 extra correct. seconds? Because I've been trying yes, to get him to stop talking. We've been like, calling him before. Absolutely. You should get extra time. I, I've used the time. You should have as much time as you want. It was a 115 when he called for the floor. It was a 115 when he called for the floor. I looked. Even if a player is on, okay. still considered a multi-way Not a word. Pot. My apologies. Okay. I was so, wrong. 
how much time was left. So Justin's already used a time extension, so he has until one minute. Okay, I'll, 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 give him, I'll give him one of my banks. I'll forfeit it. Can I say something that was a munch of talking, so he really should almost start over. Yeah. So a Bill Coyne said that. A oh, let's not get carried away. How many time banks are we going to make up here? I mean, yes. Justin, That's fine. Reasonable? Okay, 30 seconds starts right now. So it's 648 more to call, right? 648,000 more to call, yes. I call. Call. You got aces? Yeah. You got aces. Why do you wake up with aces there? All right. I just need a red queen, I guess. Damn, that's a good spot for aces, huh? This is my first all in. All in call. So it's sixes against queens against God, aces for aces. far and away the largest pot that we have seen thus far in this year's they super high roller bowl with not out. one but no, two players at risk in Vogel saying and El Jefe carry cats. The 648 uh, that, or whatever it was that Bonomo just called now uh, also close. I, I would just... I need some help from the players at home, the, the very experienced players in these situations. I, I'm just not sure my... My knee-jerk reaction here is that Bonomo did not even need to call that initial 20 bigs, but certainly it's over. Welcome back to Northern Cyprus, back to the Merritt Royal Hotel and Casino, and back to Super High Roller Bowl Europe. We are back, and we are on the bubble. Six players are left. Five players will be paid a look at the chip counts. Jake Schindler, almost 2.5 million in chips. Vogel Singh and Mulder effectively tied for second. Adams and Poix effectively tied for fourth. That means our short stack is Ali Amshurovich with the blinds going up as about 13 and a half bigs. Look at the pounds presented by GG Poker. $560,000. Is guaranteed to our final five. However, sixth place leaves with absolutely nothing. Lines are up. You know, Jeff, the, the K, bubble K, can't K, be that bad. Did you see the stunning landscape, this destination that is the Merrick Casino Royal Hotel in Northern Cyprus? That coastline. It's beautiful. My gosh. Beautiful. I mean, is it $560,000 beautiful, though? Oh, come on. It's only money. That's true. We wouldn't know what that feels like. We also wouldn't know what it's like being there. We're uh, we're remote, obviously, Jeff. Yep. Every we're year we're trying to Vegas. work on being on site. Maybe has, next year we can get out yet. there. No. Thank you. So Vogel saying limping in with the king queen here. Schindler has a say. This is a it's really interesting yeah. strategy adjustment by Vogel saying he's adapted a limping range, which clearly we can see includes hands like king queen offsuit. Curious to see if he. Has any other hands in his arsenal that maybe he would consider doing it with as well? All players sort of frozen. You saw Schindler with Ace-8. Adams now with Ace-8 thinking, what the heck is the tractor doing? It's taking place on Ali's big blinds. He said 60, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Queen 10-9. A little bit there for everybody. But most notably, Vogel saying. Most notably, indeed, an absolute gin texture for Vogel saying. Top pair with the gutter. And he happens to have the short stack, Ali, sitting there with middle pair. 
And you have no idea what's running through Ali's mind. What sorts of hands does he give credit to Vogel saying, limping middle position? Would he do it with suited aces? 70. Would he do it with king, queen, queen, jack? Could it be just baby pairs, twos, threes, fours? I mean, it, it, it's endless, right? We just don't know. And Ali just flings the 10 into the muck. So Vogel's saying, saying he meant to race. I so a, a misclick yeah. just call. All right, that makes more sense. Although it would be kind of cool if he was trying to employ a some sort of limping range. Right. I thought that was the case with Ali at that 15-ish big blind stack as the big blind. But it was just, just a misclick. Jake with a free bat. It's like this guy's trying to see a flop right now. <laughs> <laughs> Even the best in the world slip up. And it can even happen at a 250K final table. So don't feel bad about mistakes that you may make. Of course, that mistake was fine because he just he just won. And Aliyam Shurovich finds two kings in the small blind. 125. The small raise out of the small blind. And unfortunately for him... Paul just has three high. This card is bent. Did Paul just grab the hand and look at it? I mean, or did Ali sort I of think show? Him? He did, but I, I'm kind of thinking based off the reaction of Ali. He said, "Okay, you know, take a look." Poker Go Hold'em's here. Yes, it is. It's free to play online. You can fire it up on your computer, PokerGoHold'em.com, or you can download the app on the Android store or in the App Store if you have an iPhone. Play with Negranu, Helmuth, Maria Ho, Antonio Esfandiari. Listen to Hanks taking uh, you through the game. Yeah, not only can you play with these guys from time to time, but also... The best shows in poker. Poker After Dark, High Stakes Poker, Friday Night Poker, the U.S. Poker Open. You can get on the Super set. High Roller Cash Game, High Stakes Duel, all of those shows included in the game for free. Download it right now. We've been through a lot of cards. There's our chip leader, Jake Schindler. What do you mean we've been through it? Replacing the decks? Yeah. Is that yeah, what you're referring a, to? Used yeah. a lot of decks. Well. There's Maybe these guys are bending up. the cards. They're, oh, all, yeah. they're angry. First time we have seen Tim Adams eat something other than chicken as he's enjoying a banana at the moment. Right? I can't believe my eyes. Yeah. His name is the Prince of Poultry. In the last three years, we haven't seen anything other than chicken. Maybe he's gone with the all-fruit diet. Perhaps. You know? It's a thing. Is it? Yeah, a lot of... Just eat fruit? Well, I mean, certain animals, birds. <laughs> you put those, uh, the other stick. Why not humans? The other 25s, I couldn't see them. Doesn't Negrano only eat fruit? No. What does a, a vegan diet consist of? More than fruit. But a lot of fruit. Some veggies. Mm -hmm. Tofu. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying an omelet right now. It's quite nice. Yeah, does yours have a... No fruit in it. Any fruit, no? Any meat in it? Oh, yeah. Really? Got some ham in it. 
I love a nice ham. I'm going to make a ham this you weekend in my Easter smoker. Weekend? Yeah, to celebrate Easter. Happy Easter to everyone out there. Happy Passover as well. For me, it's just more about the ham and the smoker, Jeff. Well, for me, it's more about Passover, okay? And the chocolate matzah. Chocolate matzah? Oh, yeah, chocolate that sounds good. good. It's good, yeah. I'd like to do Passover. Do you have room at the uh, Platt household this weekend? You know, I'd have to check. You want to call your dad right now? Yeah, let's just... Uh, could do it right now on air. We could. Bring them into the show. Invite, they'd love to have you. Invite me for Passover. Tim says it's also Ramadan. That much is true. <coughs> Dale says, I went out for Italian a few hours ago. Well, hope it was a lovely meal, Dale. Chris, great question. How come Ali Najad got to go to this event? Hold that thought. Ali Amshurovich with Kings again. And again gets no action. Chris says, how come Ali Najan got to go to this event, but you guys are stuck in Vegas? Yeah, well, I guess I don't know Good the question. answer. Ali answer. And, and Rasty yeah. went out there for uh, the Triton right. series. And we are doing the Super High Roller series here in Vegas. So, uh, I don't know. Jeff and I are working on it every year. We want to We want to go. Make that we'll trip. Go somewhere. Uh, ball till we fall. Hanks, you can sit at the seat they save for Platt's girlfriend that he never has to bring over. <laughs> That's, That's a fair good. point, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Jesse, I want to become a poker commentator. You guys have any tips on how to do so? Probably should do the opposite of whatever we do. Yeah. You might have a chance. Just hit mute right now and start calling yeah, the action aloud. You really Tape should. yourself. Yeah. Well, another blackout here. That's. I'm sure the mics are hot, Jeff. Don't say anything terrible say anything. about other people. Okay? We're back. Yeah. Told you not to spill that water I mean, on that on that box right there. That well, you said maybe we could just be there, and then somehow, there wouldn't be any problems because we would just be there. Yeah, Mulder's got the nine and the three. I yeah, saw that. He's two got pair. two pair. And now Adam says nothing. Now he has mm -hmm. something—a little gutter ball. Apologies for the current blackouts. Happens from time to time. Nima says taking the goal in in the dark too far. Fair. Yeah. Well. Well played. think the average length of time is per hand at at the final table I don't know the answer 
I'm just 20, curious. 28 and a half minutes. 28 no, and a half um, minutes for him? Average. Me... Are you including, you know, the preflop opens where everybody folds? Because that's going to bring down the average time pretty drastically, right? Okay, so let's only you include the hands that see a flop. we see a flop. Average time, maybe a minute, 58 seconds. Wow, I would take the over. Okay. Yeah. yeah I just don't know. I'll take what the do over. you guys in the chat think? Curious. There's got to be a way we can figure that out, right? We'll get our stats, stats department, department out. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so much so table Kansas, talk here. So, Kansas, can yeah. anyone tell me how they know their hands before they see them? See them? So. Our players put the cards into a little box you see right there that Paul does. It's an RFID, and that just reads the cards, the cards that the technology embedded in them, and that's how we know their hands. Christopher Lord says, Jeff, what is the tennis bet you have going? Now, the tennis bet I've done a lot of scouting on. Aiden, just whisper to me what it is. What's the first leg? Zverev, I really like Zverev in leg one, and Tsitsipas in the Zverev second Zverev and Tsitsipas. Yeah, two-leg parlay that I've been... Monte Carlo, I just feel like... What do you mean court. two legs? Like there, Is well, there one match. leg at tennis? Two-match parlay. Two-match parlay. Oh, oh, two-match. I got you. Yeah, both. I thought you were talking about like the physical both. condition of players. Raise and take it for Adams. Chris says, let's go. I have the same two on the end of the four-leg parlay, and the first two I already hit. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck to you. So, Jeff, the NBA, right, you've got your Mavs on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are the games that I saw the last couple of days? Weren't those playoff games? No, no those were play-in games to get into the playoffs. So if they lost, they're out. Uh, it depends. If you – if. In that 7-8 game, the okay. loser gets one more chance. They play the winner of the 9-10 game. You lose the 9-10 game, yeah, you're just out. Okay, so the Nets then, the Brooklyn Nets, yeah. I watched that game. That was the 7-8 game. They're just the in Cavs. now. They're in as the 7 seed. Do they yes. have to play another game or they're just in? Nope, they're just in. Their okay. next game will be against Boston. There we go. I like this idea. From Daniel Colpoise, when can I guest commentate and drill some butt heavies with you, Hanks? Uh, if that is the real Colpoise, <laughs> and I believe it is, I and thank you for the four dollars and ninety nine cents. I, yeah, but we don't. We know have no idea where it goes, goes but uh, we'll take it. I mean, come on over, man. Bring the butt heavies with you. You know Colpoise, right? Oh yeah, if that's we, him. We had him on our Stairway to Millions. Hilarious. Very vulgar. Yeah. Hilarious. Played a ton online. He used to. I remember the first time I played with him he, live, he's like, oh, yeah. I used to bluff you all the time. I'm and sure we just he did. laugh right yeah. in my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah. Very strong player. Adams opens, and Vogel saying defense. East 
queen deuce. Aces for Vogel saying. Queens for Adams. Backdoor straight draws exist for both. Sort of situation where, oh, Ooh. Adams turns him. I was just Kings about to queens. say, we, we lose inevitably a, a few chips, maybe a bet or two, but well, the tide has turned. Terrible card for Vogel saying, and he knows it. Yeah. Spades come home. The king-queen combo comes home. We could be behind a better ace as is. Check, check again. Adams has been really dialed in and focused on controlling yep. the pot. Does not want to inflate this thing so much where he has to make a huge decision in total control. That is 160,000 from Vogel saying. A little bit more than half pot. Yeah, uh, trying to get called by a king or a queen, obviously. Adams with the goods. Snaps him off. Shows down the winner. Takes down the pot. Vogel saying continues to slide. Daniel Chase says, dang, been watching since breakfast at work this morning, and now it's lunchtime. I hear you. This might go all the way to dinner. <laughs> uh, you think I'm kidding? Uh, no, I didn't. Donnie Peters oh in the chat says the YouTube donations probably go to Remco's new bike fund. You know, he does control the YouTube page, right? Oh, you know what? And he just got a new bike. That's exactly what's been happening. That's what it is. All that we money went to his out. bike. We probably and had hundreds of dollars. Lewis, thank you for the $5 donations. Very nice. Again, we don't know where the money goes, but he says enjoying the commentary, even with the occasional blackouts and technical difficulties. Sorry about those. You're the man, uh, Lewis. Thank you Cheers from Texas, much. he says. God yeah. bless Texas. The great... State of Texas. I'll be there tomorrow. Or tonight if we get off in time. Oh, you won't be there tonight, pal. <laughs> I'll be there tonight. Ali just kind of hanging around. Opens with the queen nine suited. Waldo seven six. Question from your pal Mal, and I'll direct it to Brent. What do you guys think about slow play with such tight ranges? Do you find it boring, 
or just as interesting as any other type of play? It's different. I mean, it is certainly boring, sure, right? Sure. It's anything that's slow and takes Monotonous. forever, and yeah, it's going to be boring. But it is for a poker junkie in the hard course. There are interesting scenarios that you, that are going to inevitably unfold, and if you're trying to improve and get better, this is exactly what you want to watch. Yeah, you want to see how the best players in the world handle bubbles, play for all the money, run savage bluffs. Get maximum value. Stay balanced in, in small blind versus big blind confrontations. They're, the intricacies are, are fascinating. Molder. Six hundred. Three bets wins. Simon in the chat asks, when do they talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't That's happen. That's fair. Simon, fair question. Yeah. Well, yeah. as, as the, uh, the game continues to involve, evolve from a, a strategy point of view and perspective, so often has, uh, I, I guess, silence come along yeah. with that. It, <coughs> Not all of today's players aren't necessarily quiet. But the game is certainly different than what it was in the early to mid-2000s. Animated play. Non-stop characters. After running into Jack, Schindler is going to run into Queens here. Adam's certainly one of the more methodical players yeah. on the PGT. He takes a ton of time, much like Vogue's. And also, oh. like folks, extremely nice guy. Takes that one down. And Denise, who would you say is the most talkative out of the new generation? I think Sean Perry is the only oh, correct answer without, there. Without question, <laughs> Sean Perry, yeah. If you haven't seen a final table yet with Perry, you got to go back and check him out on Poker Go. Worth the price of admission. Hmm? No, no. I Love him or hate him. Could have. Three bet. Call. Me too. That sense. No, I mean three bet call. Yeah, me too. No, before. before. Oh. Are you folding? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. All right, pal. Let's hit tone it down. Can't have that much conversation. Yeah. Come on, boys. You're having a little too much fun. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Are you? Yeah, it's like the same. I have 705. <laughs> All numbers would go up. Ollie, you ripping it with the 95 suited. Nothing doing for Poix. <laughs> so there's a. I assume that's just a pure jam. A 9-5 suited blind on blind with that stack size for Ali.
25, 50k with a 50k big blind ante. Schindler opens here, Mulder has sevens. Well, was saying the queen four suited in the big blind. He's slipped to just a little more than 20 bigs. If we weren't on the stone bubble, queen four suited was an yeah. absolute play defense sort of calling hand. It's just where, you know, the idea that Greg Merson on Twitter put out the other day, yeah. Jeff, that you and I talked about the NGNF high roller series that would make things interesting. Put half the prize pool at the very top and watch how that changes the dynamic. Players would then be incentivized to go for it. You're not going to be playing so tight. You can't do it for clearly every major and sure, every series. Sure. Is it's worth trying. People are going to go broke. Jacks from Shurevich. Nine of clubs for Schindler. Very defendable. He knows that Ali is opening off an extremely tight range. Does not necessarily mean he's paired. I think we still have to peel. Take a look at some texture. Does indeed defend. Ooh. And does flop a flush draw. A six four two clubs. It's still range advantage Ali. So uh, yeah, here we go. A little down bet, and it's just gonna give Schindler an incredible price to peel for another puppy paw. Try and make that flush. There are sir, also turn cards that can add a little straight equity. Imagine a seven or a five. Any pair becomes valuable for Schindler as well. Schindler check calls. Turn is a 10. It's one of those cards, More right? Outs. And for Ali, it's sort of a no man's land now. It doesn't think Schindler has too many aces. Shouldn't. He still has the range advantage. He can absolutely have some sort of six or, again, a flush draw. 405 out there, 640 behind. Like eggshells. Now, how do we proceed? How do we walk? Check, check. River is the queen of hearts. Schindler does not get there. And I think maybe from Jake's perspective is what sort of holding would Ali... Bet flop, and then check behind turn. Given the presence of that flush draw, it seems like he'd want to deny equity if he had the toppest of pairs. Maybe Jake can put him solely on a pair of jacks in this spot. And he's not. He's not going to go for it. He's going to allow Ali to show this down. Oh, he's happy to check back. Yeah. Uh Lee continues to fight, continues to battle. Was so close to being eliminated. Got the chips in with ace-10 against Michael Adama's ace-queen. Ten ball on the river. 
Save his tournament live. <laughs> Well, yep, yeah, see you there. Naps are officially happening. <laughs> Adam's out cold. <laughs> you think it's meditating or sleeping? When he when Adams when he does that at the table, got to be more meditative, right? I think so. Did I tell you about the time I walked by Eric Seidel inside the studio when we were doing a show? Yes, but go go ahead and tell the people. Uh, we'll let Schindler just pile drive here. Yeah. Queen six off, max pressure on Mulder. So you and I are doing the broadcast. Right. I, I think it was the U.S. Poker Open right. just recently, and uh, Seidel was at a final table. Seven-handed. And, of course, we're on delay, so we have no idea real-time what's been going on. Well, I think I had to step out and use the restroom. or, or I'm not sure exactly what the situation I was. it was, was before I, the, the stream started. So maybe we're it just was. Kinda hanging and out. I ran yeah. out for a yeah. moment. And Seidel is there in the, in the little player lounge directly next to the commentator's sort of room. And I didn't see it or recognize it at first. I said, oh, hey, what's up, Eric? And then I, as I'm talking, I'm realizing his eyes are completely shut while his legs are crossed and he's sitting upright, oh looking straight sort of ahead. But he had his hat on. And uh, I think I woke him up from a little snooze. And he muttered back, you know, all right, all right. Maybe we'll try to bring Eric Seidel on later. Yeah, we, we can talk to him about stream. that. But, but that now seeing the Prince of Poultry here with his eyes closed at the table and knowing that Seidel is kind of, yeah, Close-knit yeah, with that group. I'm wondering, uh, are these guys practicing meditation while at the table and away from the table? I don't know, Jeff. Don't Maybe. Know. You know what? I'm going to – hold on a minute. Just give me a moment. I'm okay. going to meditate. Well, We're, have we have a little technical yeah. break. I'm going to <sighs> – Yeah, that's good. I'm going to meditate. And for the folks at home – Meditate with us. Maybe join us. Eyes closed. Join us. I'm picturing – it's the super ocean high there. roller bowl you're at. Cyprus wind blowing. Poker Go, the ultimate destination for everything poker. Tournaments. On the river, it's a heart! Cash games. Oh, she showed it! Grudge matches. You look stupid to everybody. Lifestyle and content you can't find anywhere else. Target. Score. Watch live or whenever you want. Take a look around, you'll like what you find. Unlock the poker world only on Poker Go. Morris, just flat, let's see three. No reason to put in a three bet or get yourself in a rather unfortunate all in a call situation. Flops a flush draw here. Chan's ace nine is best for now, but divorce the favorite in this hand. Again, I expect divorce with the nut flush draw just to come along for the ride. Chan. All right, welcome back. Right in time, Apologies Jeff. for the delay. Schindler has put on a jacket and received pocket queen, so major developments.
Is that is that the same Jake Schindler that we had on before? I do believe so. Just gearing up for the incoming rainstorm, perhaps. Quad defends. Uh, he's gone full blown the Fonz mode here. <laughs> he's five deuce. Schindler bet Schindler wins. Frustration from Paul Poir as I think he is now the short stack. Oh, wow. Just dwindled down. Think, I mean, it, I think Ali has a little bit more. It's a test yeah. of patience, right? Down to 625 and 13 bigs for the businessman. He's more of a professional Where's poker player, in my opinion. And Plays all of these events, much like El Jefe, yes. Kerry Katz. Dab every day in this chat says, disgusting, the site charges so much money and have the production quality of an amateur. Whoa, this is a zero dollar. Yeah, Dab, how much did you pay for this? Zero, zero. Cost yeah. Zero. Huh. Our production quality is, is actually fantastic. It's internet issues in Cyprus. I don't think this Dab guy has any idea what he's talking about. Too many Dabs every day, buddy. You got to lay off yeah, the... Uh, the Dab was years ago, man. To go easy on that, man. You've lost your head. Kiop says, love how commentators don't address my comments. Well, perhaps we've missed them. Must have been a really riveting comment. What sure. was it? I didn't yeah, see what it. What was it? We'll address. Good question by what's right, 22. Really? I would like Brent and Platt to discuss how furious Helmuth must be that Ali got praised for his queen five shove, given how much Hanks <laughs> crushed Helmuth for his queen four call. Interesting point. And I can also tell you that what's right, 22, is our very good friend Nick Wright from I FS1. Uh, stirring the pot here. And come on, Nick Wright. You're a poker player. You're a smart guy. Clearly, two different situations as Helmuth called it off with Queen 4 mm. offsuit. And Ali 5 bet jam. And Ali recognizing that Schindler, I think Schindler but may have made a small error. But Nick says the discussion is how furious is Phil Helmuth? Nick's not saying he doesn't understand it. Does Helmuth. Ah, okay. okay. Get all well, the heat. You know what? Nick is brilliant. He would word it that way, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, no, fair point. Probably is furious. You can catch What's Right with Nick Wright, his new podcast, Crushing It. Man, check him out on YouTube. Go give him a follow. He and his son, they do a great job on that show. Have you tuned yeah, in yet? Yep, 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 yep. Fantastic. You know I love all the Luca and Mavs love from Nick Wright. Yeah, and I'm and finally a fan of Nick Wright because he's done attacking hate. Josh Allen. He's done yeah, with he's the Bills. He's acknowledged that, okay, maybe Josh Allen is pretty good. says, nope, you just hate Phil. Exact same situation. Admit your bias. <laughs> yeah, that's typical Nick. Classic tank. And classic power shove yeah. here by Schindler again. again on Mulder just attacking. Jake, what is that symbol on your shoulder? I don't know. Shiny bow. <laughs> Okay, question and answer. We're getting somewhere in the conversation department. And that'll do it. Pois with sevens as the short stack now with twelve bigs. Mm -hmm. 
That'll just get through. Nine ninety five. Get a spoon. Which, uh, <laughs> kind of resident, resident expert, but you're good too. Ace Queen for Schindler. The Fonz starting to separate himself a little bit, yep. right, Jeff? Up to 2.7 million now. And this time he's actually got a premium. Ace Queen, happy to get in against Ali and Paul. Nobody home. Schindler with more than a third of the chips in play. Mitch Heck says, imagine if we could meet Hanks and Platt in person at the World Series. I'd pay 250 USD. Buddy, cool. Well, we'll make ourselves available. I mean, if you're paying <laughs> 250 bucks to meet us, uh, yeah, we'll even buy the beer. Uh, Kiop was saying, do you think players won't talk because they don't like each other? Why is friendly banter out the window? No, I think all of these guys like each other. In fact, Schindler and I'm sure of it are good friends. I just think there's they so much money on the yeah, line, right? A different approach in. here for Adams as well. He would be comfortable getting it in with Ace-King against, of course, Ali and Paul Poir, who are both relatively short. Yeah, Paul's... Pulse maybe had enough, right? Yeah. He's, he's getting a right price, men race. Does end up laying it down. $560,000 to fifth, zero dollars to sixth. On the Stone Cold Bubble at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. with the 7-6 of hearts, ace-jack offsuit for two Mulder. Lays it down. Schindler really in a spot where he can run everybody over and accumulate. He's getting close to where he can just start open shoving. That's good. Everyone is oh so short on this bubble. It's incredible. It's taken this long, folks. We started with seven players more than four hours ago. Only five get paid. We are still here. Six remaining. Someone going to go home with zero dollars. Michael Adamo bowed out in seventh place. He took some brutal beats, got an ace-queen versus Ali Amshurovich's sure, ace-10. Ten. Ten on the river for the phenom. The Bosnian bandit strikes again. And then he lost a critical coin flip, ace-king versus this guy, the prince of poultry, Tim Adams, two queens. And that was all she wrote. Here, Schindler's Jack Six just flings it into the muck. 
And while you're at it, if you're just joining us, make sure you subscribe yeah. right now yeah. to the Poker Go YouTube channel. Click that thumbs up. Click that like button. Show us your support. And in return, we will show you our support, continuing to provide you with free content here on our YouTube channel, live streams from the Super High Roller Series, the Super High Roller Bowl Europe. For the third straight time in that scenario, Schindler just rips it blind versus blind. Yeah, and, and Mulder, Mulder, Mulder knows it's yeah. coming. There's nothing he can do. And I'm not even sure. Say he looks down at a hand like ace-8, ace-9, ace-7, yeah, if he can even call with because, of, yeah, because of Paul Poir and Ali. So advantageous in these ICM moments. To have all the chips. Jake Schindler putting on a clinic right now. The Fonz looking good while doing it. Adam asks, is this the largest bubble in Super High Roller Bowl history? Good question, but it is not. At Super High Roller Bowl 6, it was a $1 million bubble. Chris Brewer was eliminated in fourth. On the Stone Cold bubble. With East Queen against Justin Bonomo's 10 4. The 10 4 got there all in pre. King 9 suited for Poir. Oh, wow. And, and rather than moving yeah. it in, look at this. Is he going to leave himself an out if he doesn't slide it through? going to try and steal off of just, my gosh, like a, a six blind stack. 12. 12. Sorry. Yeah. What you start with? Schindler will call on the button. Adam says he's 10. it down. Heads up to this flop. Oh, King 8-5 with two diamonds. Lights, camera. We've got action, Jeff. Here we go. Top pair for Paul. The ace high flush draw for Schindler. Along with the backdoor straight draw. Let's see Paul, the very slight favorite. Leads for 100,000. That's 400K behind. The min raise by Schindler to 200K. Paul knows that Jake is committed. Could he be getting trapped running through his mind? Can Jake somehow have aces, a better king? Or are we just up against this flush draw? It's a slight favorite if the money goes in. Essentially a coin flip. Sickening spot for Paul Poir.
All of it. The call, and here we go on the Stone Cold Bubble. Pua all in and at risk. <laughs> With the pair of kings. Needs to dodge an ace or a diamond at the moment. What a spot with $560,000 to fifth, zero to sixth. Turn card is the four, which opens up a couple more outs for Schindler. You see the sixes appear on the top of your screen. Jake looking for an ace, a six, or a diamond to bust Pois. River card is the three of clubs. Paul and Pois. Paul Pois has found the double up on the Stone Cold Bubble of Super High Roller Bowl Europe. He survives again to 1.3 million. See the table surrounded by all of his friends. <laughs> what a sweat. Perhaps a, a case of too many out syndrome, Jeff. This bubble may sure. never burst. <laughs> you double. 15 outs on the river. None of them arrived. And Paul Pog goes from short stack to second place. Look at this leaderboard. Jake Schindler so comfortably ahead of the rest of the pack. Pois, Adams, I'm sure of it, Mulder, Vogelsang rounding out our final six. But there's some. Stacks lingering around that 20 big blind mark. Nobody's super sure. Nothing changes Schindler for Schindler. <laughs> His strategy right, remains right. the Just same. Right He's going to continue to build, continue to open, take advantage of this bubble. Premium tractor. Start plowing. Jack, and at this exact point in the tournament, just lays it down. Sort of sense that Adams and Ali might be a little frustrated. Absolutely. Taking a little break, Good walking off, fellas. For a break. Yeah. What a ride this has been as we remain on the Stone Cold Bubble. This look at the payouts presented by GG Poker. You see $3.2 million up top. You see $560,000 to fifth. You see a blank spot. The payout for six. That's because six gets zero. We're back with more bubble coverage at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Stay with us. One of poker's most exclusive tournaments. A $300,000 buy-in feeding a massive prize pool of over $14 million. 48 elite players came to test their skill in a four-day battle of strategy, aggression, and endurance. This is the 2018 Super High Roller Bowl. Uh, I don't think Chewy's ever been in a market. <laughs> Ace nine. In Ivy's hand this time, he makes it 6,000 here on the flop with top and bottom pair. Petrangelo sticking around as a third heart rolls off and gives him the flush. <laughs> that was a dramatic pause that I put in there, as so though it wasn't self-evident. So I think Petrangelo's considering leading as he defends the big blind here. Yeah. The seven of hearts is rich with possibilities regarding Nick's range in form of the 810 and all the flushes and some two pair combinations. And the idea behind the lead here is that Ivy gets very pot controly on turns with his ace X. And we want to simply build the pot with our flushes and charge certain hands that have equity. And oh my, Ivy, rivering nines full of aces, 
Petrangelo's hand absolutely strong enough to lead here, and he will. And of course, Ivy will be raising either in the form of a shove. He goes so big that it looks like Ivy will shove this river. And, and Petrangelo is going to go into a tank, probably think aloud as he often does, and we will probably get some inner workings into his poker mind. And he, he has graces Ivy us with his thoughts. Well covered here. He does. Oh, and Ivy. Oh, I like this. Yeah. I, I, why not? You know. This is going to be a difficult laydown for for Petrangelo. He might make it, but it's going to be tough. Is Ivy doing this with King of Hearts ten? Is he doing this with right, the dry A7? Flush. Does A7 ever do this? Queen 8 with a... It's, it's going to be really hard to get away. <laughs> Let's hear what Nick has to say. Well, so far it was an F-bomb. You do now have a bluff catcher, Ali. Phil never proudly does this with something like Ace-Jack. Nor what a straight. About a, what about trip 9? No. Never. No, Ever not either. first that sizing on the end. Trip nines are happy to call or turn their hand into a bluff, but again, bluff catcher. I think having a flush here just, ah, it makes it hard. Let's go through range. Ivy has nines full. He has other full houses given that Nick led turn. So he has the aces, jacks, sevens, all the nines full. That's a very healthy amount of hands to counteract that. His bluffs are king of hearts, X. Some straight draws that had one heart. There might not be enough. Ivy also has bigger flushes. Petrangelo might find this fold. If you think he's under bluffing things like A7 and King 10 with the king of hearts, there is a chance Petrangelo puts this hand in the muck. It's pretty reasonable, frankly. This is a dicey tough situation well, it's hard for your opponent to have the hearts as well but he that. but they're is out the there yeah and is, out there. is this the line that he takes i mean he, he just calls a lot of his flushes on the end maybe the king high ones put it in but his range is rich with full houses there are some bigger fluffs and, and uh, bigger uh flushes and the problem is it's not that easy to find bluffs, but Ivy's very capable. King of hearts, queen. King of hearts, 10. Just other stuff. I don't know, 7, 10 with the 10 of hearts. There's combos out there that you can find, but there are many full houses that loom here with all the combinations of the nine in conjunction with the board. I think trips for the most part flat here not that easy to find a ton of bluffs and pretty interesting to see if Petrangelo finds this laid out. And when I say finds, I don't even mean he's finding the correct play versus range or ver of course right now it's correct. I'm inclined to think probably this hand is okay folding here. Probably pretty safe. If we could sim this spot out a million times, this actual spot live. I don't think Ivy takes off here that often with King-10 buffing. So. Welcome back to the beautiful Northern Cyprus, to the beautiful Merritt Resort Hotel and Casino for super high roller bowl Europe. Come join us inside, everyone. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent. I want to join him outside, Jeff. Yeah, Put me out there, right nice. by the water. Yeah. Inside, uh -huh. we are still on the bubble. Yeah, nobody wants to go home empty-handed. Everyone fighting for their tournament lives. A lot of drama. Aliam Shurovich, short stack, but really anyone's ball game. You can see how close these stacks are. Even Schindler, 2.3 at the top, though I do expect him to be the aggressor. There you see the payouts presented by GG Poker. 3.2 million a first, more than 2 million a second. Almost 1.3 to third, 880k to fourth, 560,000 dollars to fifth, but sixth place. Hmm, sixth place. How much? That'd be zero dollars. That would be zero Jeff. dollars. Yeah, I want to just head out into that ocean and never come back <laughs> if we get sixth. 30k, 60k. 
Yeah. And the 60k big blind ante. Someone going to be doing the walk of shame. Will it be the tractor? Maybe the Fonz. Prince of Poultry here, Mr. Tim Adams. Been really impressed with his patience, pot control, perseverance. All these players really just fighting, scrapping. Just 133 bigs on the table. Got to imagine once the bubble does burst, it could be uh, a little brisk to determine a champion. So Stacks so are just long. so yeah. short. Oh, new chips in play. What do we got oh, going on some, here? Some cranberries? Red ish, 100 case. Ali with King Four in the small blind. About 15 bigs behind. Make it 175k. Nothing doing for Paw in the big. Schindler, the chip leader. Pretty definitive one at that. What's the next level of black? Here? It's going to be 4080, right? Yeah, 4080. Mm -hmm. 4080. That'll be the next level that they're talking about. It's 4080. We just started 3060, didn't right, we? Yeah. And there are one hour levels, so we got a little bit of time. Have you confirmed that those are 500k chips, Jeff? 100k. Or 100k, I mean? Yes. Yeah. In stacks of five. Yes. Kangaroo says, what W2H is Ali wearing? I've been wondering that. Jeff and I have the uh, some sort of bracelet. Who knows? Just an overall different look for Ali yeah. than we usually see. Sort of a seashell effect. Maybe it was given to him by a niece, nephew, girlfriend. Maybe he bought it at a designer store. I don't know. Maybe he got it out the beach. All these seashells put it on a string yeah. this morning. It's a I'd see that. symbolic and lucky. No clue. Was saying the king queen suited in the small blind. Might just be a pure shove spot, Jeff. I know there's ICM implications here, but king queen suited is. Pretty good hand. We Alder doesn't necessarily have to be opening the top of his range. It is a gross spot. Maybe there's a world in which we could simply just call. Remember, we are playing the 3060 level. You can tell how short these stacks are. Both players essentially 15 bigs. I think he's falling asleep again, folks. Oh, no. 
Yeah, he has. So an there we go. Spot. Okay, he just woke up and look right wow, in the muck. Just wow. Just fold the king queen suited. Holy cow. My goodness. You a pussy, me a pussy. I was a pussy, but I thought you were, you were calling. <laughs> I don't think he was calling. <laughs> hey, Ali. <laughs> Ali is spot on there. Didn't feel like it to me. <laughs> Are we allowed to clip that or no? Uh, a little that exchange. One probably, no, yeah, let it go. Doesn't make it, yeah. That's been my favorite moment thus far. <laughs> no, I don't think. I don't think that makes the TV shows. Now ace three and 15 bigs on the button. So brutal, right? Just a crappy ace on this more than half a million dollar bubble right in the muck. Don't even consider it. Stay out of the Schindler. way, Jeff. You would have went broke there six times <laughs> sideways. Make it another shove in that small blind spot, and again, nothing Mulder can do. You were sticking in the king queen. You would have been all in pre with the king nine of hearts. You don't. Are you the kind of guy what? like that's <laughs> just <laughs> playing for the win, or are you ICM oh, yeah, for aware? Sure. No, I don't. I, am I ICM aware? Kind of, yeah. I mean, if you're in this spot, Jeff, I've seen we you watched. play in the double stack, that historic run I where you bowed to be out ICM in fifth aware. place. But fourth, it was fourth. Fourth place, yeah. That yeah. nice intentional slip up there. But you. Uh, <laughs> You clearly didn't care about the ICM there. You, you Not made with some two tables left, but yeah. with like six players left. You I were. Did. You yeah. were conscious. Okay. You did tell me, though, when you were at the final table, you said you're, you're playing for the win. You, weren't, you didn't yeah, really care it, about the jumps. I still played pretty tight. You didn't mean it. You well, were just you, feeling it yeah, in the moment, and, and the you adrenaline. Know, when you say that, kinda, everybody's like, oh, cool, what yeah, a badass. Kind of flexing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And then I looked at the pay jumps. So I was like, okay. Maybe, maybe I care. Maybe I'm going to fall. Yeah. So imagine but, that, but times, you know, 250,000. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty absurd. Yeah. Fives for Schindler after the paw open. He's chosen to play a couple of these in position. Eight a deuce with two hearts. Fair fight. Schindler's hand best at the moment. You see that Paw's a slight favorite. Leads for 100,000. Oh. Schindler makes the call. King of Diamonds on the turn. I don't think there's a lot of hands, maybe not any, that Schindler would even give up on a flop like this. Whether it would just be two overs where we're floating and peeling, trying to apply pressure on later streets. And, of course, we can see a little baby pair. Paul Bois, though, with that equity, is this a good ticket to consider two-barreling? I think it is. He elects to do the same. He should have most of the kings here. Now, could Schindler defend Button with a hand like King-Queen, King-Jack, King-10 suited? Certainly. Pois going to use this card as leverage, trying to target these middling pairs Schindler can have, and he's a non-believer at the moment. Schindler sensing something. A jack, though, on the river. Interesting card. 
at that. Clearly, Pua now may not want to bet and hopes it goes check, check, or he could maybe, maybe consider a check call for Schindler. Sort of a disaster facing another barrel from Pua. And I'm uncertain if Paul does shut down. I, I would imagine Jake does simply quickly check back in hopes that we're still beating a hand like ace-queen. But would he ever consider turning fives into a bluff? Whenever Paul did have a hand like two nines or two tens. I'll just check. And I think that is the pause here for Schindler. Maybe it is better to simply bluff. Maybe it's not good to shut it down. If Paul Poit inevitably did find a jack on the river with this particular holding. Ace jack of hearts, jack ten of hearts, queen jack of hearts. Does decide to check back. Or, yeah. One time back, huh? Important pickup for Paul Poit. Looking for his first super high roller bowl cash. Yeah. Almost 30 bigs for him, which Thank is you. second place at the moment. Yeah, and he's gotten the best of Schindler. Uh, a clean double up on the bubble not so long ago before break. That hand critical. The Fonz beside himself. Okay, so maybe he's looked like that the entire <laughs> yeah, final right. table is. Not real drastic changes yeah. in emotion. Schindler doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that's ever overly happy or overly angry. Correct. He's just this, what you're looking at. Like 1.2, Tim. Just a cool, um, calm customer. Sorry. A little less. And now Schindler can just go rip city. Blue chips worth 5k, white chips 25k, red chips 100k a piece. bubble that's now lasted for hours. Yeah, approaching five hours now on this bubble. Whew. Jeff, aren't you glad you stayed up until one in the morning last I didn't, night? Didn't partying? Up, didn't, didn't do that. That would have been a disaster. Late night on Tinder. Mulder now finally wakes up. The ace queen of spades. And it's he and Ali as our short stacks. I think Ali slightly less than Mulder. 500. Says the hell with it. I'm going to commit. Oh, and he puts Adams right in jail. Two eights can't do anything. That's in the muck, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he had a wow. pretty one, too, in the form wow. of the King Jack of Hearts. was getting it from every angle there. Didn't matter. Tim Adams looking for his fourth straight super high roller bowl cash, which is pretty absurd. <coughs> if he makes the top five, he'd be the only player to cash both super high roller bowl Europe events. Schindler's so dangerous. As you can see, he's opening a wide variety of hands, but now able to mix in a callable hand in the event that one of these shorter stacks did move it in. 
Looks like Vogelsang might want to be a customer. The ten six of diamonds. Plenty of playability here. The problem is we're short. We've got Ali, who's also shorter. He's going to stay right yeah. out of harm's way. That seems good. You want to play some online poker for free? Just go to PokerGoHold'em.com or go to the Android store or go to the App Store. You can listen to Brent Hanks take you through Poker Go Hold'em. Yeah. Play with Negrani, Homie, Tasfandiari, Maria Ho. You're going to get a lot of, uh, if we use today's final table as an example, my voice would simply just say, fold, fold, <laughs> fold. Oh, it's good to be king. Chip leader, Schindler, the Fonz. Getting walks, winning every pot. Thirty-two entries, two hundred fifty thousand dollar buy-in, a prize pool of eight million dollars. Spread out among our final five. There are six left here. Six is for Adams, just into the muck. Queen Jack for Poir. going to pounce out of the small blind. It's what Jake Schindler does. So filthy. Remember, Paul went to showdown with Jack-10 suited not so long ago. He doubled up with King-9 suited opening. Jake recognizing that Paul Bois is coming into pots rather wide. A little more active than the other players. Right. So it makes this three bet a little bit easier to do. Understanding you're going to get more folds out of Paul. Jake Schindler just under $30 million in career live tournament earnings. He's in 13th on the 2022 PGT leaderboard. He could move way up. With a win today, he would move into third. All time. No, on the, oh, the leaderboard. Leader oh, yeah. wow. I was going to say that. With a win today on the all-time money list, he would move into 11th, there which you is go. a sizable yeah. jump on that seemed, list, too. Uh, extreme. <laughs> is it 13 million for first? Oh, it's 3 million. <laughs> it's three, yeah. it's three, it's three. Just running the show here today. Any two will do for the chip leader. Uh, this eight, bubble situation eight, now up to 2.8. Continues to climb. Schindler finished in third in the 100K Triton event two weeks ago here in Cyprus. Two Mulder won that tournament. Schindler has two wins on his resume this year and won a 10K win high roller and won the 25K at Stairway to Millions. Yeah. I'll focus saying again now. <laughs> He's got yeah. another spot. Jack Ted suited almost always feels like a pure shove sort of scenario. But on this bubble, maybe we just pass once more. He's folded king-queen suited. 
10-6 suited in here. Looks like he's going to come in maybe with a min race, Jeff. A race fold rather than stuffing at home. He might just get this through. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Pot so important. Well, we all know what's going to happen. It's going to be a cooler sort of scenario when the money does go in. Similar sort of holding now. Ace four suited for the tractor. Once he wakes up, we'll see what his decision will be. <laughs> Just a little cat nap. Bumps it up again. Looks strong, right? Back to back mm -hmm. hands. I just raised it a moment ago. He's coming with the heat once more. What's Paul doing? He just kind of looked at his. I thought he was throwing it in the muck. Same, and now, yeah, and you he's, now he's just got a customer. Away. Yeah. It's like he expected to see a bad hand and then found the jack ten of diamonds. On Bindi. Flops a jack. A little stab by the tractor. One would think this texture would favor him as the early opener in this extremely tight ICM scenario, but he just learned the bad news. Paul has somehow connected with this board, whether it be a pair, some sort of draw. And two pair now for Paul. Tense full for Poir.
250. Ball leads for 250k. Good for a little value with the full house. Who's having a better time right now than Paul Juan? Nobody. Just loving life. Especially now that he's got chips. He would have been clearly angered to bubble. Paul, it's not really about the money. It's about the, the pride, the glory. At this point, after how long it's been, uh, you it know, would sting. You don't want to go home after anybody. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be a devastating one for anybody. This is day three. We've been playing for five hours. So to leave this one with zero. One of the biggest bubbles of the year. Oof. Pain. Pain has not been administered quite yet. It's coming soon, you would think. I mean, 133 bigs on the table with six players left. 22, 23 big blind, average stack. And two aces for Tim Adams. And two kings for all Liam Shurovich. No way. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Well, we talked about the coolers. Here's the ultimate one. Adams loves to see this. This is sickening. Uh, 760 to start. One last look. Yeah, yeah it's are, the birds. Those are two aces. And those are Ooh. two kings. Yeah, I, thought, I thought that was what was happening. It's fucking weird. <laughs> we had a bad feeling about it. Not me. And he Ali is and on him. the ropes here. <laughs> Running right oh, into oh, it. He yeah. tried to avoid going back to back. It's the stone bubble in this event. Here we go. Jack, Jack, 10. No help to him, Shurovich. Whoa. Queen ace on the turn. An nine ace nine would be no good, but a nine would be good. Nine or a king. Close. Oh, it's an eight. It's close. And for the second straight year, Aliyam Shurovich has bubbled super high roller bowl Europe. You just got to feel for him, Jeff. I mean, that's right. uh, actually so brutal. 
again tonight. For Ali, I'm sure of it, to do it again yeah. and to go out in this fashion. The biggest cooler available, Kings versus Aces. And like that, we have now reached the money. $560,000 now assured to our final five. So we'll get set. Since we're in the money, they'll take a picture, we'll make it official, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Stay with us. One of poker's most prestigious high roller tournaments is back. With a $300,000 price of admission and a $3.6 million first place prize, luring 36 of the game's elite to a three-day fight on the felt. But only one will follow in the footsteps of Brian Rast, Reiner Kempa, Christoph Vogelsang, and Justin Bonomo as the next champion. Their journey starts tonight at the fifth installment of the Super High Roller Bowl. It's protect yourself at all times. I got to bet, yes. Uh, that was grimy. And I feel like it's grimy in a there, cash but, game. But to say you got me or you got it or I can't call or any uh, of these oh, sorts it, of it, things. If you look somebody in the eyes yes. and you're like, you got oh, me, and then okay. you get a read and you're, no, you don't oh. call. Yes, it's a little grimy, but it's at the so same mean, time, I wouldn't do it. I'm not advocating for angle shots, but it is protect yourself at all times. So fair I or foul? Would always say, foul in an icky moral way. <laughs> Fair in a technical way? I, if, see, I've, I don't know if it can be defined with just the fair and foul. It's gross, but it is protect yourself at all times. Be, make sure they fold if you're out there, if you're not sure. Makita's you know. not looking to protect himself as he has flatted Negranu's 5K open with two nines, or perhaps hey, it is in the interest of protecting himself, no. or his chips, rather. I can really do it. Not slide. looking to bloat it, it pre. Well, it right. like either bet in the dark or check in the dark, but none makes sense. in the dark would be sick. Neither makes sense. Like, throw up 15K? That'd be sick. <laughs> 15? Just bet five in the dark? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, I have to look, see what comes. Okay, we've got some to work with here, right? You and me. Let's go. We got sixes, we got sevens, we got eights, we got straight draws, we got flush draws, we got all kinds. So, what we got to do here is put one blue chip in. Oh, go ahead. Oh, five down. I can think of a one card blue. that would create some spiciness. Or more, it's up to you. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, and that, of course, the king of clubs. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm not asking for advice. And the next table sure. break. Yeah, I did, though. <laughs> yeah, he's right. the next table. Oh, man. So, you don't like that bet? So, I so can't ask the next <laughs> break. It is the next <laughs> time. Okay. So in the event that we break the rule, and against the rules, rules. Bad ways is options. Mm -hmm. Too short. Uh, 16, <laughs> he said, comes with 16. Okay, fine. We, we 16, break 16, this guy, I knew it. I knew this freaking uh, floppy. Daniel was calls, no Daniel, oh, under the gun here. Kind of wrapping on, the I got good pair. Cards. He can have some of the stuff like this, but we we the need. Feature on this does break. have some big pairs yeah. here, given this line. And oh, oh so we'll <laughs> wow. In she comes. And Negranu knuckles, by the way, turns the stone nuts, and it's gonna look a lot like he's worried about the four liner here with his range. Of course. Negranu can have 10 10. He can have the jack 10 Ooh, babe, suited. You'll feel it. So good. <laughs> I think Bats bets so this, he Nick. Right now. Oh. It's a great hand. <laughs> we see. Yeah, buddy. It's a little under a three to one dog running into the absolute disaster bazooka of the world. You think he just checks back so he yes. can call all bets yes. on the end? Aces, kings, and queens are now bowing out. We might be well served oh. to check. <laughs> Nines full yeah. on the well, end. The turn Mikita, brought it away. The turn uh, and the river brings it back in. And uh, yeah, tough one for Daniel. Switch it up now. It's, it's actually going to be tough for Daniel to give Makita credit for a boat. The nut straight is is strong here. Not that many boats, Ali. Exactly right. <laughs> it's very strong. <laughs> I played good cards. That's good right. Cards. That's some very Pretty good cards. Good cards. Yeah, good cards. <laughs> Sixty thousand. That's really bad news for me. Sixty. Ooh, I was gonna do it to you, really, for real, on the turn. Yep. I was really gonna do it to you on the turn. Hmm. All right, I need a minute for this one. If he folds this, Ali, uh, I'll be pretty blown away. 16, 16, 32. So none of that matters either. And we are back. Still trying to recover from that brutal blow to Ali Amshurovich. Wonder how he feels. Kings into aces. See that cliff right there? Yeah. The yeah, ocean? I do. Yeah, well. Oh. That's the second 
straight bubble at Super High Roller Bowl you're up for, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's as painful as it gets, man. And to go out in that way, that fashion, brutal. It opens the door for our final five. Jeff Pot alongside Brent Hanks at our broadcast studios in Las Vegas. Jake Schindler, the chip leader. Timothy Adams in the hunt for his third Super High Roller Bowl ring. Now as his fourth straight Super High Roller Bowl cash. One Super High Roller Bowl Australia, one Super High Roller Bowl Russia. Finished in fourth in Super High Roller Bowl Europe last year and is in the money this year. Blind still 30K, 60K, 60K big blind ante. You said 1.1, right? Started with 1.1. Adams opens. Mulder can more freely defend now that we're in the money case in point. Calls with the 6-3 of hearts. Flops one heart. Adams a size best. We got to get Adams to Vegas for the Super High Roller Bowls. I know he's Canadian, <laughs> and they have the tax implications. Does he have any idea how good the chicken is here <laughs> in Vegas? I mean, it's, they love it for the meal alone. It's worth it. There's got to be something you can do about the taxes, right? right? Don't you, you get it back in some way, you shape, get it or back form? In no way, or yeah. some of it, or I don't know. In a year or two. Blind versus blind. Mulder raising out of the small blind with the queen eight. Makes the call. Heads up to a flop of ace, six, deuce. Well, the floodgates seemingly are going to be open now. Just not a lot of chips on the table. Okay. Obviously a wider defense here from Mulder. Another one that won't make the the broadcast, Jeff, as far as the, you know, yeah. Started off with some potential. 
the rays out of the small wine. Uh-huh. Well, I think it's prediction well, time, really, for the fans at home, everyone tuning in. We've right. made the money. We're final five. It's sort of even as far as uh, anyone's ball game. Yeah, Adams, we'll Schindler, who are we rooting for? We're all in the money. We've lost Ali, so now who? Okay, Mulder. Got the eight. Betting 130K. Yeah. Seven, eight, of course. The purest of straights. Has one in his hand. Hoping to fold out smaller pairs, king high types of holdings. Mulder back to about 20 bigs. What do you think? If the tractor gets king queen suited, are we going to throw it in the mud? Now I think we're playing that one. We're going to play now? Yeah. We're going to play ball. Do you, I, I wanted to say this earlier. Someone in the chat had mentioned it, but perhaps a bit of an overstatement. We've mentioned the most absurd stat. Let's take a look at Schindler's Kings here, and I'll get back to this in just one moment. Who knows what could develop? What with the 7 8 off? Yeah, he likes to get frisky. Facing a little min race. Seven eight. We'll defend. And we'll see a seven in the window as it comes a seven five. Two clubs. Schindler, the Kings, the backdoor flush draw. Lot of sevens, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Jack of clubs on the turn. Oh, Paul, a lead here. Potential disaster. No, he's not going to do it. A little posturing for Paul. Schindler, again, that comfort club in his hand, the king of clubs. Checks back. Oh. Nine of clubs on the river. Flush for both. Schindler with the nut flush. It's guaranteed payday now yeah. for Schindler. I don't know if Paul will value bet the eight of clubs. I would not fault him for doing so. It might be a better check call type of holding for the times that Schindler would be turning hands into bluffs. 
It's a vulnerable club, no doubt. But you have to be suspect, too, of what Schindler's checking back on the turn. Did he have... Give him again, like a hand like king-queen with one of those clubs, right? Would he have just taken the equity to the dome, afraid that Paul might just have an ace? Looking for 350K worth of value. How much? This would be a really big fold. Absolutely. I mean, if Paul makes it. I, I think he's got a little too much of a hand, but... Let's see. Paul Poir. Instincts. Decades of experience playing poker. The highest stakes, the highest levels against the best players. Three fifty, right? Three fifty. Oh, he said it. Yeah. Time banks. Does make the call. Schindler gets paid off. Perfection by Schindler. Max value. Betting the ace high flop with two kings. Checking back turn, allowing his opponent to get there. Of course, a favorable run out for Schindler as well. And now look at this. 40% of the chips. Deep 55 bigs. Absolutely printing right now. Schindler starting to take over, run away with this thing. Real quick, back to Vogel saying, King Queen tooted hand on the bubble. The career stat where he only has two tournament victories yeah, despite yeah. $25 million in career earnings. Any chance that sort of these tight folds could be a reasoning for Absolutely. just not taking home a lot of titles? Are we trying to cash and move up ladders? Which he is more often than, than trying to win. Well right, well, he's, he's up. A, I mean, we know he's one of these guys that has, you know, a lot of himself and is extremely wealthy. But as far as collecting titles, does that style hinder your ability to win, right? It's, I don't know, worth thinking about. Adams just rips it in there on the button. Wins. Vogel saying in some trouble. This is his first cash of 2022. Can't imagine he's played a lot. Right, right. Although he was here for the whole Triton series, I he believe. Was. So, so he's, he's gotten pretty I think. I could be okay. wrong, but yeah. I, I mean, it could just be Brick City the entire series. Ace queen for Mulder. Come 
Lawrence at the time. Class. Schindler, the King Jack of Diamonds. On. And Schindler shoves. Ace Queen, is it just too good here? With Vogel saying as a very short stack with a $320,000 pay jump from fifth to fourth. for an additional 30 seconds to act. Ah, uh, Mulder, I mean, here, again, yeah, I know we have... Vogel saying is the short stack, but ace-queen, don't we just have to put yeah, it in? Yeah, he does make right. the call. Here we go. To Mulder, all in and at risk with ace-queen up against Jake Schindler's King Jack of Diamonds. Could get Mulder. Jack and more uh, than 40 bigs. Mulder. Mulder. Mulder or Mulder? Mulder. Mulder. Sorry. Ooh. Jack 8 4. Schindler flops Jack. top pair. So this is what I'll say, someone. Turn is the five of clubs. Mulder needing an ace or a queen to stay alive. The river brings another jack. That does it for two Mulder out in fifth. $560,000 in his first career super high roller bowl cash. Yeah, I know he's slightly disappointed with the finish. Got his money in good, faced some brutal situations on that bubble. But he made it, Jeff. Made the money. This guy, the tractor, how does he love it? Look at seven picks. He's managed to ladder up another spot. Just made $320,000. Yeah. Now we have the two shoulders. Very slim chance. It's possible. Double up, double up. Look at the payouts presented by GG. It's Mulder out in fifth for 560 k The next pay jump is worth 400 thousand dollars up top in this one 3.2 million Vogel saying Schindler Adams Pua, the final four Vogel saying with ace nine on the button get up get Most of it. Good, sir. Pops his fist. Seven for Schindler on the button. Okay, 
，呢個嘢同我撳出嚟。Bomber jacket of diamonds. And you, you can't fault Adams for not making any sort of play call being a part of this hand, right? We see how short Paul Poit is. We know about the tractor Vogelsang. He's down to 400,000. Just fold. You're, you can make six figures in equity by avoiding pots. Ooh, 8-7 deuce, one diamond. Eights for Poit. Sevens for Schindler. Another deuce on the turn after it goes check check. Schindler might have too much of a hand, the best seven, to ever consider folding. Let's make the call. Rivers a king. Could certainly slow down, Paul. King of clubs on the river. You have to be concerned about Schindler making a flush. This sort of river card might save Jake a little bit of money. Have to imagine he would check behind with a seven. Check, check. Paw Paw winner. You try to chase, huh? Get near them. A7. Huh? A7. S7 again? What happened to the tractor? He's taken everything off. The hood's he's down. The he's relaxed. He slid the mask down he's below the chin. To so he's clearly using that as a, uh, well, uh, to cover his face, maybe for live towel reasons? I guess yes. you're allowed to do yeah, that yeah, now? Absolutely, you are. My second ante, it's like, what? Same as last door. 490. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but again, it's all a part of the rules, and the you rules. can do it. My mask is back. COVID concerns. Well, yeah, he's back. in a hand. He doesn't want to show oh, right, off any, right, any, right. anything. No facial expression. I think the hood comes up over the neck to cover the uh, the pulsating little nervous tell that you can have when you're bluffing or in a big pot. Again, I'm not being critical. You're taking oh. full advantage of the rules that are in play. This whole time I thought it was for his own health. <laughs> Four players left at Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Four straight, at least top four finishes at Super High Roller Bowls for Tim Adams. That's decent. Vogel saying in the small blind with the seven eight of diamonds. Starting the hand with about seven bigs. Oh. 
Oh, All of it. That's Nothing new information. King Jack now for Vogel saying. Fired up, Jeff. <laughs> Tractor in first gear at the moment. About to rev it up. Take another one. Schindler, ace, deuce of spades. All in. Okay. Says, let's dance. Five. Um, how much, yeah? Um, I have 700 exactly. Schindler continues to what accumulate. Blind go up. Blinds going up to 40k, 80k with an 80k big blind ante. A look at the leaderboard before they will end up taking a quick break. Jake Schindler, more than half the chips in play. Timothy Adams in second with 1.8 million. Paul Pua in third. Christoph Vogel saying is the short stack. He'll have less than 10 bigs when they do raise the blinds. Look at the payouts presented by GG Poker. 880K guaranteed to our final four. A $400,000 pay jump from fourth to third. Up top, 3.2 million. Four hand to play when we resume. Champions is long. Brian Rast is the first ever Super High Roller Bowl champion. Christoph is our 2017 Super High Roller Bowl champion. What a deserving victor. Hi, Caxton. Bravo. Tonight, the best in the world try to add their name to that list to be a champion of one of the most prestigious events there is, the Super High Roller Bowl. A $300,000 buy-in 2021 edition is next. MBK, 14 big, 7-7. Seven, seven. Do we have fold equity? Let's see. Perhaps it goes in now, Ali. On. Yep. Curious to see how Brewer handles this man. I think we have to action gamble, but oof. Yeah, Klein's ace ten. It's like one thirty, right? One thirty, right? Disinterested. After the Lining prerequisite off. Hollywood of sorts from Solver, looks like he's out. What does Brewer do here against the fourteen BB Jam? This, he's ah. just in. We do what needs to be done. Heads, yeah. tails. And we don't necessarily do it because we think King Queen is in good shape, but. We feel the price is right. And now Kenny will spin the wheel with an edge in equity. Best hand going to the flop. Can he hold? Well, a massive situation for both men. Yeah. 
shortest and second shortest stack at the table. The cruel nature of poker upon us, although these are short stacks who again have to gamble, but it is now up to the deck to decide. Thank you. Oh, brutality. Oh. I'll pair the board dealer, a little sweat. Can we get a board pair? King or a queen, perhaps, for chop opportunities? Right, there you go. Ooh. It's never easy with BK, but there is the queen, and now three outs for Bryn Kenny. He needs a king and a king alone to chop it up here. Is it there? Good game, Good game guys. No. Good game, Good Bryn. Good game, sir, BK. Our first casualty here at the final table. Meanwhile, Bill Klein is open to 45,000. Michael Adamo looks down at two queens. Which have been somewhat omnipresent here. 35. Up we go. 35. I think within both Fox and Ann Bonomo's right, by the way, to take a bit of issue with the fact that at least 200,000 in chips were kind of hidden from view in the original configuration in Sean's stack there. Fair enough. The chips need to be visible. Awkward spot for Klein. Adamo's second in chips. Klein first. Perhaps we respect the nature of the ch chip situation, although Klein might have big ideas. Ace-Jack off is a big ideas kind of hand as when far as bluffing is concerned. I'll look at this, Holly. Okay. Whichever comes first. Bluff me. Well, <laughs> kind of click-back territory. And doubt you have or no, meatier than that, huh? Meatier than a clickback, and for Adamo, we saw in a semi-similar spot, Bonomo uh, went with the just call here. See what Mike comes with shortly. This is a big flop for me. <laughs> well, we watched Bonomo against Adamo Flat a four bed in position with two queens and ultimately be forced to fold. Adamo also going to flat. That's a, that's a straight. That's true. Klein has now bloated this pot to 640,000. You knew it was one of the two. I thought you had a six in your hand. I was in a six vibe. And he's flopped a jack on the jack 10 7 board, Nick. Trouble awaits. Well, 640 out there. Let's just kind of see how this one plays out, Ollie. Super savage if I call there. I'm just showing you. Nine. That'd be sad. Try can bet my king five. Maybe. I believe that's 200k just south of third. Highly awkward territory for Adamo, but an overpair nonetheless. And as we touched on before, Maybe he's not for that much. <laughs> been pushing Klein around a little mm -hmm. bit, he might think. This is not the time, though, in this spot, is it? Big stack against the second biggest stack. No, I'm not saying that, but I mean, when we're trying to assess that. the relative strength of our queen-queen, some nice of the meta, thing, a million out there, right. Ollie. What a situation this is, and the rest of the table should probably stop talking. Really tough card for Klein there. Yeah, the seven doesn't rate to be involved with Adamo's range. <laughs> and now he has himself Jackson yeah, sevens with an ace no, kicker. <laughs> That's about the most brutal card in the world for Klein. It never hits Adamo and is something of a brick. Looks like he's counting out 300-ish, perhaps a, a stack counting of sorts. Three fifty, I believe. I think you're right, Ollie. It is yeah. three fifty. Third pot. Still developing. Queens are concerned, Ali. Adamo's concerned, but we're going to see a river worth just tons of actual money, EV-wise. Now that Klein's been called, 
pre-flop, on the flop, and on this turn, which puts four to a straight out there. Oh, and he does put it in, Ali. And two tens, two jacks, two kings, two aces. Wow. You very well said, Ali. A kings and aces, we don't know if we're in Adamo's seats, but that's six combinations of boats. Another 12 combos of those over pairs that might not take this line. What did Adamo ask? Would you, you jam, jam aces? Would you jam aces here? And then he said, probably this is a very intense time banks coming. Welcome to the blender. Truer words never spoken, my friend. Hmm. Ten seconds remain. Oh, and he does oh, pay it wow. off. And Adamo just continues to get it done. Wow. wow. Klein. Oh, my God. We'll live, but with the faintest of pulses. 3.4. Up top, along with the ring. 1-9 in second. And that million-dollar membrane. Oh, yeah. Seemingly impregnable. But with Brewer. Sitting on 11 bigs. <laughs> it could happen yeah. at any yeah, moment. Nick blinds at 15 and 30,000. Uh, my defense is <laughs> impenetrable. My style is impregnable. It's Iron it. Mike, baby. <laughs> I mean, I didn't take six. Tyson? Correct. Know, saying, like, in the steel, the the sweet science. Thing. Gets Never no more intense. From, honestly, like, I gets no more intense than this. Probably only. they wouldn't have got the cut in time. No, I mean, it's fine. I'm just won't be in my. Lines up to 30k now. Is Bonomo considering big boy moves right here? Well, he is putting them in with the executing. suited 10. So, so note the bubble application Break of him. pressure from Justin here with 10-4 suited. Oh, and Brewer oh, wakes Brewer up with a nice here green right away. My life. And a 10 in the muck already. Narrowing Bonomo's winning prospects. Oh, as Brewer said, the biggest flip of his life. Winter with a massive sweat as well. Two to one favorite on a million dollar bubble, Ali. This Six is the real deal. Five in the middle. Ace, queen, queen. <laughs> can't be too greedy out there yeah. for this, but. And the flop is oh queen, five, seven. Top pair against the heart draw. And it's cool. never easy, is it, Mr. Brewer? No, I mean, just look at him, guys. He's uh, he's squirming a little bit, but uh, as his winter pacing, cleanliness is godliness. Fading a heart now, and that's all. Four to one favorite for Mr. Brewer to double and slide into third, at least chip stack wise. And uh, the mantra now: well, no heart. No heart. Oh. King of hearts. Man. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. I lose ace king to nine three suited on the bubble and then ace queen to ten full suited <laughs> on the bubble. I'm the best. I'm going to buy you something nice. I mean, you like that? I'm the best. That was good for you. I had ten nine off no heart, so I was happy with the flop because I guess <laughs> you're more likely to hit a heart. Palpable steam coming off of Chris um, Brewer, a consummate professional, but a disappointed one nonetheless, as he is left on the Actually, outside the money, of this table. bubble as <laughs> it bursts, courtesy of his elimination. Welcome back to Cyprus. Well, we have reached our final four at the Merritt Royal Hotel and Casino in Northern Cyprus. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Let's head inside, shall we? <laughs> Paul Paul watching back the stream. Oh, yeah, what's it. up, Paul? We'll A talk to him on the YouTube. Board. Jake Schindler in first. 
almost 4.4 million in chips, more than half the chips in play. Tim Adams at about 20 bigs. Paul Paul and Christoph Vogel saying, are the short stacks a look at the payouts presented by GG Poker, $880,000 to fourth, a 400K pay jump from fourth to third. Up top, $3.2 million. The blinds are up. 40K, 80K with an 80K big blind ante. Brent, that means there's 100 bigs on the table and still four players That's left. That's it. We're gonna gonna get go moving fast, here. right? And it all starts right here. The tractor, another good one. Ace Queen suited. Good enough to min raise versus all of it. Ball with the seven five of hearts. And you'd think, right? Vogel saying ace queen suited. We just moved it in pre off that sort of stack sizing, but he's absolutely trying to induce action with this sort of holding. Well, Ace Queen Four is decent for Christoph Vogel saying. Unfortunately for him, Paul effectively swings and misses. Uh, easy now decision for Paul Poir. Happily check fold. Vogel saying we'll collect this pot. You notice the earpiece in? He's. I think he's listening to us as well, Jeff. He probably is. We should say hello to Paul. Hello, sir. Hello, How do you there, do? Paul. Yeah. Hey, Good anytime you. Uh, you want to have us out, Paul. You yeah, know, we're, we're, we're down. We're ready. We'll, we'll travel. Yeah. We're here in Vegas, but uh -huh. we'll travel to come see you guys. With producer Aiden, we're bringing him to Gotta. the Cyprus. Got to bring the producer. We'd be oh, hopeless no, <laughs> with any equipment. Uh, quality not so good. Well, Poker Go Hold'em's here. Did you know that? Yeah, Jeff, I knew it. It's you right here that. on you the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's here. Yeah. It is available on your favorite device, Android, iPhone, computer, whatever you want to do. Have Brent Hanks guide you. I doubled up last night playing. Oh, congrats. Right before bed. I got in bed at about 6 p.m. What was what was the hand? Uh, oh, we're out of time for this promo. Back to the yeah. action. All right. Well. That super high roller bowl, you're up. I was playing Friday Night Poker. Presented by Stormax. That is cool, actually. Yeah. Our 96th deck of cards in play today. I think Jake was also watching the stream. He probably was. What's up, Jake? Yeah. Took off the Fonz jacket. Now Jake, he's just whenever back to you want to bring mode. us to, to Cyprus, just as kind of consultants, coaches, can run some hands by us. We'll just be his crew. We'll you know, the crew. posse. Just kind of walk in the background in his walk up shots. Into the Casino, that would work. He opens here with King Jack. And he wins with King Jack. Jake Schindler looking for his first career. Super high roller bowl ring. Got close in 2017, but lost out on that title to the man to his right, Christoph Vogelsang. $400,000 pay jump from fourth to third. Our final four guaranteed $880,000. 
Kristoff. He's done it again. Yeah, yeah just out like a light. If I'm Schindler, I might just grab one of those little drawstrings and yank on it. <laughs> That'll wake him up. A little tusk pole. Queen six suited, blind versus blind against the chip leader. Might be good enough, Jeff, to just ram home. Certainly think it's a qualifier. Maybe we just give him the walk. It's hmm. interesting. It is. Uh, Paul, I think, is our short stack, but not by much, right? right? It's very so close between Paul and Vogel saying. But I don't you're have right, the, Paul uh, is the shortest stack. I don't have the <laughs> the charts in front of me, but I think Queen Six suited is a qualifier. For sure. When you punch it in. But maybe in this ICM land specifically. Yeah, try and ladder up. Another couple hundred thousand, and Kristoff has done an amazing job at that. <coughs> That's a cool camera. Yeah, I want one of those. What yeah, is that? You would destroy one of those. I'd like to get my hands on that, though. Yeah, I would. Want to be good for the camera? I would walk around our final tables and feature tables in the oh, studio with that. I'd love, love to it. hold yeah. that camera. Players would love that. King 9 for Schindler. Could live commentate while holding oh, that camera. A little, now we're talking. A little Hank's eye view. Sixes for Adams. Glance around the table. Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. And it's awkward, I think, for Adams. Normally, just a pure shove over top. But we have Vogelsang and Paul Poir that are much shorter. I see him again coming into play. Money jumps are so real. Does shove, though. Picks up some chips. Did you notice Jake's little grimace and smile, yeah. too? Because he knows how brutal of a spot that is for Adams. Just hoping you get a snap fold instead of a snap call, no matter what the situation is. 40K, 80K, and 80K big blind ante. <clears throat> Eight million chips in play. Schindler with the majority of them in his stack. Five off for Schindler. All in. Just rip city. Adams out. Well, out. Jake Schindler entered the day as the chip leader. Bit of a shaky start. But has rallied back. He's taken a commanding chip lead.
Taking a look at the final event going on on the exterior. Event number nine, 50K short deck. I believe it is a single day event, a one day event. Up to 18 entrants, only nine now remain. PGT points on the line. Current chip leader, Phil Ivey. Oh, baby. El Jefe in second. Kuhn is there. He's in fourth. Elton Sang, he's up there in third. No signs of Ali Amshurovich. I believe registration is closed, so he did not hop in that final event. Ivy trails Amshurovich by 114 points on the PGT leaderboard. Puak, Queen Jack. Seven bigs. All of it. If you want to check through. that out, by the way, uh, pgt.com yep. slash live reporting. Can't miss it. Jan's done a great job throughout this last week or so. So is Tim Duckworth, the commish, getting in there, writing some articles, I believe. Event number eight. I was looking for those updates earlier. It was oh, yeah. won by Elton Sang. Daniel DeVoris got second. He's got a first and a second here in the Super High Roller Series. E Elis Person in third, Danny Tank fourth. Nick Petrangelo oh, got fifth, go. and Chidwick cashed for sixth place. The min cash, Elton Sank took home $684,000. That was the 50K No Limit Hold'em event. Well, Petrangelo needed something. His first cash in Cyprus. Paul Puan now, King Queen off. All of it. How much is Adams wants a count. He has ace eight of hearts. Almost eight. Very close. Probably going to be getting called here. I think so. Here we are. Makes the call. Please. Here we go. Paul all in and at risk with the King Queen up against the Ace Eight of Hearts of Timothy Adams. King Jack Ten. A pretty flop for Paul Poir. Adams now looking for a queen to make a straight. Does not find it on the turn. He'll need it on the river to eliminate Poir. Ooh, survive. Ooh, the river is an eight. And Paul is up to about 1.6 million, back up to about 20 bigs, and now it's Adams who's on the ropes. You want red chips? Uh, just like that. <laughs> Massive oh, swing. I'm at. Adams back on the short stack course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then we party. Okay. 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 And it's come to my attention, Jeff. There is a super high roller Just series leaderboard guy. that's going on. Ivy is yes. up Ivy top with the points up. race. Yeah, but what I did not realize is that there's a twenty-five thousand dollar championship yeah. bonus. So the leader of that race, Ivy, I believe, has it locked, as you just pointed out. Uh, he'll be receiving another twenty-five grand on top. A little cherry for the Sunday. Schindler with fours. All of it. PGT heads to Italy 
in late May, May 26th to the 30th. Partnership with Luxon Pay for PGT Italy from Casino de Venezia. Is that good pronunciation? Italian pronunciation? Probably I think not. So yeah, oh, you nailed like it, it, Jeff. It rolls right off the tongue yep. for you. Venezia. That's much better. Schindler with sevens. Venezia. Thank you, producer Eden. Oh, I just realized my best S hand is is it. <laughs> Today. I never have S9 <laughs> Today. Today. Yeah. But I won jacks one time. I was pretty happy to see A8 suited. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. S oh, you didn't even have S9. <laughs> Donnie Peters brought it to our attention that this may be the oldest casino in the world. Oh, Casino de Venezia. Where, uh, yeah, PGT Italy will be taking oh, place. Oh, that's cool. That's fascinating. Thank you for that little tidbit, Donnie. Donnie also says it's all about getting Phil Ivey at the end of the season PGT Championship to play for that half a million dollar prize. Agree, agree, agree. King of Spades for Vogel saying. When he wakes up, he's going to be thrilled. Close. Most of it. Oh, I think I heard oh, a call. Oh, Schindler snapped it up. off. Yeah. It's Vogel saying left one chip behind, so not quite all in just yet. But we are going to clash here with Vogel saying all in and at risk with the ace king of spades up against Jake Schindler's ace five of clubs. Eight, eight seventy-five. No, no, it's it's wrong, right? Eight, 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 she was right all along. Eight, oh yeah, you're right. Sorry, eight fifteen. Yeah. Thank you so much. I apologize. All good. I, I'm really slow in this. Important pot. Want to make sure it's right. That's yeah. fine. Totally fine. Ten eight deuce all diamonds. Three on the turn. The wheel draw for Schindler. Is there a penalty for taking the nose? So yes. <laughs> 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 that was great. Didn't expect that from Schindler. <laughs> That's great. It'd be great if we see a, a 5K bet in a fold from Schindler. Right. 
Not going to happen. Wrestling hasn't acted yet. I, I don't know what. Uh, maybe considering flicking it in for the chance of that occurring. You act upset. It's a good end. Yeah, when you have the ace king of spades and see that run out, right. you probably aren't take, particularly take thrilled. Ace five of clubs. Yeah, and, and Jake technically was not an all-in, did not right. have to show his hand. He can just throw it right in the muck. All-in situation, he would have had to flip it over. He did state his hand regardless. Right. Well, just about a double up. For Christoph Vogel saying. Ah. <laughs> I thought I woke up with it, I guess, because I called so fast. <laughs> well, I don't know. On that board, on the oh. river, I mean, no, I don't know. I didn't, feel, I didn't feel like I was winning most of the time. No, I mean, like... I, what? No, I'm not holding, <laughs> but like, <laughs> I mean, I, I could survive those two hands and make a money jump, right, Paul? So that, that's just why I did it. <laughs> a little insight there as to yeah. why you leave the one chip behind from Vogel yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm just never putting the last chip in. So. It's nice to hear him <laughs> talk a little bit. You can sort of understand how he really is such a class act and. Yes, he acts slow, maneuvers quite sloth-like. Dynamic talent. Um, yeah, 8.15, double. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason for me to show my hand, though. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like it shouldn't. It was like a bet, and I checked that. But it actually felt for me so we had to, like, check, and, like, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the table was like, oh, you got to show or something. Floor uh -huh. said that or some someone said that. Yeah. I think it's understandable because it's, like, such a rare situation yeah. that you want to, like, Go and yell the all in, and then fine. yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking what it was demanded. <laughs> Jake's right to your point. He didn't have to show his hand. No. It was not an all in in the call. Perhaps rules may be implemented in the future. The more we see the one chip yeah, behind, one chip behind yeah. with such a like minute percentage of the actual pot, and you see both hands at the end, but. King Queen for Vogel saying he opens. Schindler has threes. Well, with sevens, about 20 bigs. Be a little surprising with the two sevens. I think that's perhaps good enough to just grip and rip. So. I'm concerned about Schindler flatting, no doubt. Sure. Queen nine five. Vogel saying his flop top pair. Seven's not the easiest hand in the world to play on many flops. Yeah, here's why, right? It, you just have no idea where you're at in the hand. And for Paul, maybe he is just simply trying to connect with the seven. Otherwise, he doesn't really care. He's just done with it.
Schindler going to fire with the threes. This is a pressure point sort of bet for Schindler. Also recognizing in all likelihood a three is just a clean out in the event that we do simply just get called. You do get a lot of folds. Uh, let's say uh, the tractor had a hand like ace jack, right? Probably would check fold this sort of board. Damn near drilled the three yeah. there. <laughs> Instead it's a deuce. Kudos to Kristoff for playing king-queen like this, getting the maximum. Had he bet the flop, threes, sevens, likely hit the muck. He's now opened the door for Schindler to simply start bluffing. As we can see, Kristoff is not going to fold king-queen. Doesn't have a diamond in his hand. This turn card, a little bit concerning. If we think Schindler could have any sort of backdoor equity, what if he had a hand like, you know, ace four diamonds? Taking stabs at flops in hopes of getting folds. It waves the white flag there on the turn. Well, we've reached that point again where we've lost Vogelsang. <laughs> we'll just wait for him to rise from the slumber once more. Perhaps part of the plan is to put Jake to sleep as well. <laughs> Interesting strategy. See if it pays off. Three fifty. Ready for much? That's three fifty. Three saying up to about 30 bigs. Second gear now, Jeff, for the tractor? Yeah, probably so. Down. Reaching max speed soon. Paul was able to go enjoy a nice dinner <laughs> during that hand. Prince of Poultry, Tim Adams, he went for a swim. They didn't miss anything. Donnie had time in the chat to tell us about PokerGo's Discord. That's discord.gg slash PokerGo. A giveaway in there taking place on Monday during the High Stakes Poker Watch Party. Discord.gg slash PokerGo. Join the community. Face 
What do you think he uses to fuel the tractor? A little bit of diesel? Or perhaps it's one of these new hybrid sorts yeah, of mobiles. Yeah, I could see that. Like the Tesla a version kinda, yeah. of a tractor. A green tractor. Doesn't really need a quick operating speed. Just more function over mobility. Yeah. So maybe no fuel at all. Uh, it's got. There's got to be a little juice. Clearly, not much. <laughs> not much juice. A reminder that next Tuesday on this very channel, we will host a selection show of sorts. Probably need to think of a name for the PGT Heads Up Showdown. We will reveal the bracket. I think you just said it. The Showdown Selection Show. Oh, the sh SSS? The, the Showdown Selection Show. Too many S's? Yeah, too. too we'll hard. work on it, Jeff. Yeah. Very excited about that event. 32 players, 25K apiece. 400,000 for first. Ooh. Some of the biggest names in the game signed up. Well, I don't know who I'm more excited about. Why? I think it's, you know who I'm excited? Uh, yes, I do. I know that. The big rig. Nicholas oh, Rigby. Nicholas Rigby. The World Series of Poker this summer, make, or this fall, made a run. That Notorious for the Deuce 3 offsuit. The diaper. 650. Do you think you won a tournament down in Florida? With that hand? I, I mean, his winner's photo was the three deuce. I don't know if that was a bit doctored up or if, that, or if he won the tournament with it. What's the ideal heads-up matchup you're looking for, Jeff? Mm. Who do you want to see? I want to see Negreanu and Helmuth run it back. Ooh, Negreanu Helmuth. Yeah. Fireworks. I would love to see that. I'm on. I mean, I don't know. Is there? Uh, there's a friendship there, but there's also sort of a bitter yeah, it's rivalry, a it's right? A, it's it's I rocky. I see the rivalry part yeah. more than the friendship. I'm not saying they aren't friends. I truly believe they are. There's certainly a mutual respect. Absolutely. But there's also bitterness between the two. No question about it. I'd like to see Sean Deeb versus Helmuth, maybe, just for the Ooh, slow Sean roll. Sean Deeb's going to be great wherever yeah. he's aligned in the bracket. Donnie's told me he won the tournament with the King 5 suited, talking about Rigby. But then it had to take the picture with the 3D. Well, it's we on understand. brand, right? You have we to, yeah. You got to play the brand.
Rigby's boy was DMing me trying to get trying to get into the broadcast booth. I'm like, that's not my department. You can hit up Hanks though. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who? You remember the Rigby Rail? And he wanted to get into the booth? Up. Yeah, wants to do some commentary. Really? During Rigby's match. Really? So that probably can't fly. But just message Hanks. How many people have you given my number to? No, nah, no, don't worry about it. The actual Heads Up Showdown starts on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. From 32 to a champion over the course of three days. Short stack, Adams, yeah. King, seven off on the button. It's probably good, Jeff. I don't have the charts again. Less than seven bits. I don't have the expertise, but I have to imagine this is an all-in sort of hand. Adams, Adams. agrees. Donnie Peters says, Hanks, naturally, Helmuth should have to take every winner photo from here on out with Queen of Diamonds, Four of Hearts. The hand heard round the world. Now, I, I agree, but isn't Helmuth's hand technically the two black nines uh, that he won yeah. the main event? I mean, or does the queen four now does replace it? Does it overtake it? Right. Mm. Joe Rutten says the queen four is not funny anymore. Oh, you must be a blast at parties. Wow, come on, Joe. Yeah. Boy. Really? Took the jelly out of your donut, Joe. My. Lighten up, pal. Ace King for Poir. One sixty. Deuce. Schindler flops the gut shot. Pause ace high is best. That texture, though, clearly favoring Schindler. Not phenomenal for Pois. Now, ranges do widen. The more shorthanded we do inevitably get. And buries the turn for Mr. Pois. Fires of 180,000. Donnie Peters again in the chat says, if you guys are into NFTs, well, PokerGo is launching a new NFT project. Information can be found in the dedicated channels on our Discord server. Check out the link. And NFTs are certainly the talk of the town, I think, Jeff. That'll be a cool project. I mean, combined, we know absolutely nothing about NFTs. But right. It sounds cool. You should listen to the latest whatever they call the podcast nowadays, with Donnie and Remco, and they bring on Sam Simmons yeah. to explain Former the Former president, project. by the way, yeah. of uh, Poker Go. It sounds like a really innovative and cool idea. Yeah, it's phenomenal. 
what they're up to. Excited to be a part of that in some way, shape, or form. You're a part of the NFT no, project? No, okay. I'm not. Oh, okay, okay. No. I just wanted to slide that in there yeah, like I had anything you, to do with it whatsoever, Jeff. And I don't even know what it stands for. 160. Queen for Adam. Oh, wow, yeah, and our short stack. This is certainly good enough. How shall we proceed? It's 160. Seven bigs behind. On. All of it. I think we gotta. I think we have to call I if we're so. right? I mean, the price is clearly right. It's gonna be what eight bigs? And he's got a great Touch hand more. to make it with, yeah. even if he thought he was up against Ace King, King Queen, Ace Queen, right? Imagine you're live with Jack Ten suited. Six hundred sixty. To the one. Five hundred k more and a nine hundred forty k. 660 minus 180, 480 more. Uh, he made it 160, so 500 more, but semantics. Shot that hand, laugh. Oh, 160. Shot that hand, laugh. Oh, why did I raise three floor? No, I no you can't muck the jack suited. So far, so good. It's one of those spots I think you have to gamble. Tim yeah. knows it too. You can see the look on his face. He'd be, I think he'd be happy with a fold. Sure. He'll take it right now and ship up to 940. Yeah, Paul knows he's probably 40%. Chance you're flipping if you're up against eights, nines. So many hands dominate me. It's not shot that. Wow. Wow. Lays down wow. the Jack 10 suited. Adams will be thrilled to get that fold. Uh, one only? Hmm, don't know whether I should call him. S10 against Jack 10. How many percent? No, I mean, what's the odds oh, free flop? You know what my uh, motto is there, right, Jeff? Never fold. That's on your sweatshirt right now. No gamble, no future. Yeah, no gamble, no future. Stick it in. Where could I get one of these? I'll head over to shop.pokergo.com. I think it's 34 point something. Yeah. The suited. We get a boost. But yeah. Against SJ is very bad, right? <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Against SJ only 30 all That's true. I mean, pocket pass you're doing well against, I guess, 50-50, right? Yeah. So I just want to count my stack to make sure. Mm. <laughs> and I got all these time banks. Yeah. 
Oh, a lot of time banks. So you have more time banks than chips? <laughs> Call. King 10 E. Not sure what Adam's other card is. Pair of eights for Paw. Sure. Sure. A nine of hearts on the turn. So at the very least, Anna says an open ender. I could have. I mean, a very big hand. Obviously, sure. we can't see what it is. Imagine if it's Jack-7 suited or 10-7 of spades. We just don't know. He sized it up, Jeff. 2-10. He must have some other equity card with that 7 of spades. Can't imagine he would do this with just a seven. I could be very wrong. Maybe queen seven would make some sense, right? Blocking queen jack. We may never know. More cards? New cards again? Replace that deck. Come on. It was in play yeah. for a good 15 minutes. Another look at the leaderboard. Jake Schindler with almost half the chips in play. It slipped a little bit from his peak. Christoph Vogel saying has moved into second place. He's at about 1.9 million. About 15 bigs a piece for Paul Flaw. Tim Adams. Look at the payouts. Final four. Guaranteed 880K. $400,000 pay jump from fourth to third. Up top, $3.2 million. And a look at the payouts presented by GG Poker. Oh, a little nugget from Donnie Peters. Says every World Series of Poker, Tim Adams organizes a large World Cup of Vegas soccer tournament for the poker community. Usually gets 12 to 16 teams for a full day of competition. Tons of fun. I guess that is if you enjoy soccer. You're a big soccer guy, yeah? I would never attend, Jeff. No, no. Maybe a goalie. Oh, yeah. Goalies don't have to run, right? You little be, bit. still be pretty active, though. Being tall probably helps. Long arms, legs, can spread across that. They call it a net, a goal. Yeah. 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 Cool. Whenever Vogel Singh is ready to proceed, he will defend with the 9-8 of diamonds. We'll flop an eight. Schindler bets one hundred ten K. Tough spot for Vogues. Yeah, we got the eight. Not necessarily loving a turn two pair. Queen ten could be present. 
clean eight about the only thing we love, but a pair is a pair after all. We know that Jake Schindler can and should be wide as our chip leader, attacking while also c-betting. Turn is the four clums. And it's always about this turn, right, to get these bluffs through. If Jake thinks he's up against more jacks and eights than anything else, maybe some sort of draw. Consideration would be to size it up upwards of half pot or greater and try and take this thing down right now while putting Vogel saying and what could be an eight or even a jack in a world of hurt. He's going to knuckle it back. Queen on the river. Will there be some opportunity here for Schindler? Yeah, a very interesting card. A bluffable at that. Saying checks. Yeah, I suppose King High has a, a smidgen of showdown equity against missed hearts of the non paired variety. But you'd imagine maybe Vogues would have bluffed that yeah. on the river rather than checking it over. And how about Jake Schindler? Sizing up 500,000. Just awfully effective. Jake understanding what a horrible spot this is for some sort of jack or eight. Even if Vogel sang river to queen. Lays it down. Schindler just world class. They all are at this True. level, but you know, Schindler just is silky smooth, right? He has that presence. He, he reminds me in a way of uh, Phil Ivey, just the way he handles himself at the table, the stare, the posture, the way he handles his chips. Never rattled. Just so calm. You said this earlier, never gets too high, never gets too low. Right. Has that right demeanor. After eating, want to sleep. <laughs> no. Yeah, I tried two times already. So, okay. I mean, okay. Not very. Yeah. yeah. Talking about dinner plans. Oh, they're going on a dinner break. Yeah. Oh, Looks like last hand here. They will go on a one hour dinner break. A couple minutes. Schindler with the ace jack of hearts.
Adams with the Queen 10. King 6 3, 1 heart. 3 to the Royal for Schindler, Brent, but it blocked by Adams, Queen of Hearts. Unfortunate, really. We won't see a, a Royal flush before dinner break, Jeff. I don't even think we're going to see a turn card. Advantage Schindler. Extremely dry of the king variety. Adams, uh, just a little too short, I think, to fight. Could queen high be the best of it? Certainly. When you know you've got a, a little chicken dinner waiting for you after a hand or two. I might just be ready to eat, Jeff. <laughs> He's giving this some thought. Wow. Seems Is he doing awfully hard to navigate. Really does. He has a trick up his sleeve if he does decide to continue. A little deeper, certainly. Yeah, I'm floating queen high. No doubt. That'll do it. All right. So Jake Schindler will take a pretty healthy chip lead into dinner break. We will look at the leaderboard before we head off to dinner, perhaps brunch for us. Schindler almost 4.5 million. Vogel saying 1.5 million in chips. Flaw, 1.2 million. Tim Adams will have about eight bigs, just 80 bigs on the table when we come back, playing for $3.2 million and a super high roller bowl ring. When we return, you're watching Super High Roller Bowl Europe. We'll see you after dinner break. One of the richest poker tournaments of all time. One of the toughest fields ever assembled a million dollars to enter. No tournament has ever changed the landscape of poker until now. I like tough competition and lots of money. You're really getting only the best of the best. You are forced to play at a high level. That's going to be awesome for the game of poker. The 2015 Super High Roller Bowl. Game on. It's time to see more I fireworks. Think that's what it is. 10,000, 20,000 with a 2,000 ante. <laughs> Scott Seaver with ace queen offsuit under the gun, and he raises it up. More play. <laughs> Negreanu next act has jacks. He could play this a couple ways. He decides to just call, which is very in tune with his style. This is the famous Negreanu small ball? Absolutely. Anytime he's not quite sure where he's at, he loves to call, and then he'll play after the flop. He's very comfortable playing after the flop, and he has position here, so... He's got a lot of good reasons to just call. It passes over to Kim in the big blind. A7 offsuit. And we've seen him defend this sort of hand here before. Yeah, he keeps getting great prices out of the big blind. He has hands that have some equity, and he's making good defense. Unfortunately, here he's dominated in a bad way, but normally this would be a pretty standard call. A6 queen. Top pair for Kim, but top two for Seaver. This is a bit of a tricky flop for Don. Scott bets 65,000. And a lay down by Daniel Negreanu. Yeah, terrible flop for Pocket Jacks. And because he just called pre-flop, Daniel lost the absolute minimum there. And this is going to be a call here for Don. There's no way he can fold a hand of this strength. And he'll reassess on the turn. Oh, well, the seven on the turn is a great card for Scott, as Kim now has a worse two pair than him. Kim checks. Yeah, that's an absolutely terrible card for Dong. He's going to be putting a lot of chips in the pot now. 
Scott is really good at finding the right bat size. He bats 175,000. Yeah, it's a good size. And now Dong has to decide whether he's just going to call or if he's going to raise on the turn. Obviously, his hand is very strong, and he's ahead of a lot of hands. He has to worry that if he does raise, he folds out hands. The Seaver could have, like, ace-jack or ace-ten that he's beating. So I think what he wants to do is just call, and then if he does raise, it would be on the river. Kim calls. And the river is the ten of clubs. Kim checks, and it's over to Scott Seaver, who now has to find the right bet size to get the maximum value here. Yeah, it'll be interesting what size he goes with. That'll probably be dictated by what he thinks of Dong's range. And for Dong, this is going to be a really tough spot. Uh, he has one of the stronger hands that he can get to the river with. But at the same time, Scott has a lot of value hands that beat him here when he bets. Scott can have ace-queen. He can have queens. He can have aces. He can have sixes. If he had a backdoor flush draw, he would have gotten there. And even King Jack made it on the river, so there are a ton of hands in Scott's range that actually beat aces and sevens here. Scott makes it 375,000. Call. And a really quick call from Kim. Huh. I guess Dong just decided that his hand was too strong to possibly fold. Jason is one of those players who works really hard on keeping a good poker life balance. He spends a lot of time outdoors, he works out, and you might not know this, but he is actually a really solid country swing dancer. But back to his poker moves, he has Queen Jack of Diamonds on the button and is facing a raise from Brandon Steven with Queen Ten of Hearts. He calls. Yeah, great hand to call with. He's got position. He can hit flops really hard with this hand. And it's over now to Max Altergott in the big blind. 8-10 off suit, and he also calls. This is the first time we've seen Max here on the Super High Roller Bowl so far. And it looks like first time's the charm. He flops a straight. Jason flops top two. And Brandon flops top pair in a straight draw and is somehow way behind. And Brandon checks his hand despite having the pre-flop initiative. And I like this check with this particular hand a lot. Action on Jason Kuhn. He's picking up chips. Yeah, Jason's going to want to bet, and he's going to want to bet big. He has a very strong hand, but it's vulnerable to a lot of draws, and he wants to protect it. Unfortunately for him, Max has already made the straight, and it's going to be very difficult to get away from this. How much did you have stud to have? I think 650. Max is reaching for chips, and he raises it to 230,000. Action on Brandon Steven. He finds himself in a pretty tough spot here. He liked his hand a lot before all of that action, and he does lay it down. Yeah, and thanks to Brandon's nice check, he actually gets away without losing any chips after the flop. Now, when Jason pulls his chips back like that, that means he's either calling or raising. And it looks like he might just call, which is pretty interesting, because it's for a big chunk of his stack. I would have to imagine that Jason's plan is to call and to get it in on any blank turn. Well, the six of spades on the turn is not a blank. No, it's not a blank at all. It completes the flush draw, which he had to be concerned about on the flop. And also, if Max has something like Jack-9, he's probably going to slow down on this card. All in. It's an all-in from Max. Big decision for Jason. That hand's not very good, is it? It's not a very good hand. Doesn't really, doesn't really hit that board very well. Good, good discipline full by Jason. Tom Marchese is under the gun with Ace King off suit. He raises to 72,000. It's got to be the first time he's ever folded games for you. Yeah. Folded him in eight seconds, probably. Seaver with King Jack off suit. It's a good hand, but 
It's not doing that well versus Tom's under the gun opening range. I would imagine that Seaver either folds or three bets this particular hand. And it looks like he is choosing the three bet here. <sighs> Brandon really want to get in there with the Jack-10 suited. Such a pretty hand. Back over to Tom Marchese now. And Tom decides to just call here, and I like this a lot. He knows that the type of bluffs that Scott would have, he usually dominates, so he wants to keep those hands in. And also, he doesn't really want to re-raise and get it in before the flop. He's not doing that well versus the range of hands that Scott would actually get all in with him. Mm. Well, ace-3-9, and that's a flop that you want to see with ace-king. Great flop for Marchese. This is the type of board that he can withstand a couple streets of pressure easily, so he's very happy that he just called pre-flop when this sort of board comes down. Seaver fires into this pot. And Scott chooses to go with a smaller sizing, and I like this a lot. He's just trying to fold out stuff like pocket sixes or king queen. He knows that Tom's not folding an ace to any size, so he just chooses a smaller size and it gets the job done. Unfortunately, he's run into a really big hand. Queen on the turn. Seaver now with a straight draw and a flush draw. Yeah, that was one of the better cards for Scott to see. He picked up a lot of equity, and it'll be interesting to see how he plays this on the turn. Marchese checks. Scott checks back. The eight of diamonds on the river. Scott now has the flush. Wow, that's brutal for Marchese. He had the hand all but locked up on the flop. And he has to imagine that Scott barrels some of his hands that have one diamond in it. So he might even find a hero call on the river if Scott value bets. Pot of 743,000. Scott Seaver reaching for chips. He puts out a bet of 300,000. This has got to make Marchese a little bit sick. On the one hand, his hand has shrunk a lot in size. But on the other hand, Seaver's line looks a bit like he bluffed on the flop, decided to give up on the turn. And then the fourth diamond made out in the river, and he was like, oh, I could get away with the bluff again. Marchese rechecking his cards, and that king is still not a diamond. And he finds the correct fold. Yeah, these guys are both just too good. So Brian Rast has raised tens from early position. David Peters with aces in the big blind. Jack tens ahead, right? Slightly ahead of up the which pair. And he just calls. This is a really sneaky call, and I really like it. He's going to be calling out of the big blind a lot, so. Well, he'll be glad he played it that slow and kept the pot small, because boom, Rast out flops him and hits a set. So many possibilities. Terrible flop for Peters. There's no way he's folding, but. He's checked it over to Rast, and Rast bets 140,000. And I can't imagine David does anything here but call. His hand isn't strong enough to raise anymore. And he definitely can't fold. He does just call. Oof, well, if that was a scary flop, it just got worse with a seven on the turn. It puts a four straight on board. It would be really tough to be confident with a pair here, even a pair of aces. Not only that, but Peters knows that he can have a lot of jack type of hands when he calls out of the big blind. So his hand is actually weaker than the type of hands that he's expected to have here. Well, Peters checks it over. And Rast is undeterred. He fires again. Yeah, and despite all of that, Rast bets. And this is going to look pretty strong to David. Peters does let it go. It's a good-sized pot over to the big stack, Brian Rast. And by just calling before the flop, David Peters escaped losing a lot more chips. So David Peters gets his aces cracked, but a nice laydown saves him from losing any more than 9% of his stack. <laughs> Scott Seaver with ace nine raises to 200,000 with the three shorter stacks behind him. Oh. All in. Connor Drynan shoves 13 big blinds with a bigger ace. Easy all in for Connor. 
And Ooh, Peters man, picks up boy. Kings in the big blind. Peters is probably not going to fold this one. <laughs> He's trying to decide how to get the most for his hand. Peters just calls, clearly trying to entice Scott to stick around. Peters definitely wants Scott to put more chips in the pot, and calling is probably the best way to do so. I'm going to fold, but that's probably not right. It's definitely right, as he sees when the cards are flipped over. What did you have, Scott? <laughs> Scott being a bit coy about his hand. I like how Kuznetsov just told Scott what he had in the previous <laughs> hand. And now Scott's very tight-lipped when it's back on him. 8-5 queen all okay. clubs, and Peter's hand just got even stronger with the flush draw. Not my flop. That's a terrible flop for Drynan. He just lost the ace of clubs as an out. Well, that might be his turn. The 10 gives Drynan an extra out. Know. Only the 10 of diamonds or a non-club ace will save him now, or he is out in fifth. Oh my god. Wow. Red 10 on the river. What a card. And I had the ace of spades also, so you had I, only... I figured, I figured you when you said two cards that don't matter, you were just being nice for me. And I have the... Wow. The blinds are still at 50,000, 100,000 with a 10,000 ante for the four remaining players. Even the short stacks have over 30 big blinds right now. Brian Rast with huge chip lead and king seven of spades in a small blind raises to 300,000. Scott Seaver in the big blind. Jack nine offsuit, he just calls. Jack nine ten, and just like that, two pair on the flop for Seaver, although Rast does have a double gutter and an overcard. Scott Seaver with the stare down. Yeah, Scott Seaver seemed to make it his policy to stare his opponent down right from the beginning of the hand all the way through the end. Rast bets 275,000. And Scott decides to just call. I think he doesn't want to inflate the pot too, too much. Queen on the turn gives Rast the straight. That's got to be an ugly card for Scott to see, but he hasn't seen it yet. He's still staring at Brian Rast. Rast is cutting out a bet. 600,000. And this is a pretty terrible turn for Scott to see. His two pair has shrunk up considerably, and he's going to call here just in case Rass has a flush draw or something that he's bluffing with still. Queen on the river means Scott's two pair is counterfeited now anyways. This might save him some chips. Yeah, I can't imagine Scott's going to be putting very many more chips in the pot. I'm all in. Rast shoves. Oh, come on. Scott thought for a moment that he might have made a full house if the queen on the river was a jack. I'm not going to waste time. I'm not calling on the queen. And I'm not quite sure about Rast's bet. It had to have been designed to fold out the chop if Seaver had a king himself. But Scott can have a lot of full houses there, and it seems like a really risky gambit to take. A lot of interested people on the rail watching, including a lot of the high-stakes poker community. And this is tough for Rast. He has to just clear his mind and get right back into the mix. He can't be thinking about the last hand. Well, the eights have shown up again, and this time they're in Brian Rast's hand. He's raised, and Drynan has queens in the big blind. All in. Drynan moves all in. Like three. And unfortunately for Rast, this is a snap call. And in back to back hands, Rast might lose almost all of his chips. I have eights, he has queens. It's yeah. a bad spot for Rast. He's going to need to get just as lucky as Scott did with his eights. Rast isn't the shorter stack, so he's not at risk. But if he does lose this, he'll be down to fewer than six big blinds. Three, three, four on the flop. And that is no help to Rast. He needs an eight and an eight only. Boom. Eights are wow. not lucky for Connor Drynan. Eights are the f 
hand. I maybe, just <laughs> maybe. Only a queen will save Connor, or he is out in third. And he is out. Oof. And that is just devastating for Connor. Scott Seaver with pocket fives raises it to 380,000. Brian Rast with the ace nine of spades. And this could get pricey. Both these players have very strong hands for heads up. Brian makes it more expensive. Scott shoves the rest of his chips into the middle. Wow, and this is actually reasonably close for Brian. Scott must be happy when he doesn't get a snap call. Absolutely. If Brian had a better pair, his chips would already be in the pot. And it's a call. It all comes down to a flip to potentially decide the winner of seven and a half million dollars and the title. I have ace nine of spades. He has two fives. Yeah. Seaver's hand is ahead, but he has the smaller chip stack, so he is at risk. And for Brian, this is a chance to get vengeance. He had him in the spot already once, and this time if he wins, he wins the whole tournament. Seven and a half million dollars, a shiny ring. <laughs> And Rast out flop Seaver. Big flop for Brian. He is now way, way ahead. Scott needs a five to win this pot. It has to be a five. King on the turn. One card left. One last chance for Seaver. And the six on the river, Brian Rast is the first ever super high roller bowl Thank champion. You. Congratulations. Thank you. And what a deserving champion. After taking that bad beat, he just fought hard, came back, and now he has the title. Scott gave a little shrug there. He's gone off to talk to his friend. Second place money's not so bad. Last year, Brian Rast outlasted a world-class field on his way to a super high roller bowl title and seven and a half million in cash. This year, the super high roller bowl tradition continues from Aria Resort and Casino. This is a big pot. Thought I had you crushed. 49 of the world's best and wealthiest poker players. A buy-in of $300,000 and a first place prize of five million. Four full days of live poker. The Super High Roller Bowl from start to finish gets underway right now. Do you ever find yourself opening up a little bit when you know guys are tired and a little bit less interested Absolutely. in competing toward the end of a day's play? Absolutely. That, that's a really big part of tournaments, having the, the feel for those situations. And recognizing also that People can be polarized when fatigued, yeah. oh. where they either have it, because otherwise they wouldn't be out right. there stepping out, or right. they're just phoning it in. Right. Taking a more uh, conservative approach with their medium strength holding. Exactly. Because they don't want to think as much, and there's right. a lot of thought that has to go into those gray area type plays, as we see three players in a raise pot pre-flop, and the flop yield is okay. queen seven six with a couple of clubs. Goes without saying, that's a nice flop for Budiga. Yeah, top pair with a king kicker. Nothing much for Anthony Gregg, who's checked Check. as well as Patouche. And Rainer Kempe checks his two fours. Here comes the turn card. Kempe picks up the bottom end of an open-ended straight draw. That is a nice turn for uh, Kempe. However, two flush draws on board for Patouche now. He's got top pair. Budiga leads here, it really depends on how much as far as Kempe's decision goes. And Petrush fires 20,000. Don't see Greg continuing. He lays the fives down. And I don't think Kempe has quite enough to continue. If you know an eight is good for sure, it changes things somewhat. 
but an eight could be no good. Touche has some combos with a nine in it. However, fours possible. could be good at the moment. Call. This is reasonable. Rainer makes the call. A three, four, and eight would make his hand best. And it's a three on the end, giving him the seven high straight. That is the perfect card for Rainer Kempe, a disastrous one for Pertouche. And that's how you do it. It's just that easy, boys. Kempe Look at Rainer sizing him up. Kempe is a touch capped here. Can't really have eight, nine. He can, of course. He could check eight, nine on the flop, but most of the time he would bet. So. Pertouche is kind of asking himself, what are his four combos? And thinking about trying to get some value from this king-queen, which is reasonable because Kempe could have checked back some 6x, some 7x, and, and doesn't really have 8-9, where Pertouche does have some 8-9 here. So I don't mind Pertouche's value bet, but it is ambitious. Thousand is the bet. And you could potentially get your guy to induce here by checking with some sort of busted draw on the sometimes, end. Sometimes, sometimes, and I think... Kempe may find a raise here just based on... I feel Pertouche may have given away the strength of his hand a bit based on his mannerisms. That felt very valuey to me. And, and that's not to say he did anything wrong, and it's Ten much seconds. easier to make reads when you can see somebody's oh, hand. Oh, wow, look at this. You're exactly right. But we've seen a lot of flat calling on the end with not the nuts. But Kempe really felt like this straight was good. That's logical. Pertouche really only has the 8-9 suited combos. He's not taking off out of the small blind with 8-9 off. He might not be taking off out of the small blind with 8-9 suited, so... MP really believes this straight is good. It is, and it puts Pertouche in a very awkward spot. 80K to call. If you're going to make thin value bets, you have to be prepared to face these decisions. Well, Pertouche didn't find the auto fold. He's asking for a count here. No, uh, it, it's... But could re could Kempe really be bluffing for his remaining stack in this situation with just 80K? Great question, Ali. Uh, it's so hard to say. <laughs> so we we yeah. can't get into Kempe's mind or, or no. One of the beautiful things about poker. Oh, Pertouche thinks he could be. Maybe Pertouche oh. thinks that to turn these over. Mm -hmm. and that's why you don't stand behind a horse. And Fedor. And we come right back to uh, to a possibly curious Fedor holes, and I, I love when we only get to see the one card. I really do. Yeah. Because start to, to imagine, what do you think Fedor does with the jack of spades? How about a queen? Play along with Fedor. He knows that Helmuth has been splishy, splashy, to say the least. Yeah, and the deuce four off suit here, three betting to 90K. That's right. And it looks like blind. Fedor is taking a flop. Excuse me. Oh, it, it looks like he's going to charge him more to take a flop, isn't he? It's a four bet to 235,000. Wow. It's think like a soul I, read. I think after a little bit of Hollywooding, Helmut is probably going to let What's this go. What's going on here? I three bet the kid twice in four hours, and he four bet me both times. Are you in a hurry? You got a death wish? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is going on here? This is sick. <laughs> Helm, yes. Nice hand, Fedor. He's not scared to just get in there and limp. He's not scared to sometimes 4x pre-flop. Right. The blinds are 20, 40. I've seen Berkey do things like make it 200. And I promise you that, that confusing your opposition generally is good. Sometimes the cost of that is making a quote-unquote bad play. Rainer Being unpredictable. Kempe. Hard to read and hard to figure out. Right. These are all things that do aid you in the long run if you use those things to your advantage. Can be opening with snowmen, the 110. And the cutoff and the small blind of Dan Smith making the call in bad shape with the two sixes. He'll be heads up and out of position. We haven't seen too many vicious coolers this tournament, Ali, like no. eight six deuce or something crazy. And look I, at this. I mean, uh -oh. listen, I, I just want the people to know, I swear on my life, I cannot predict the future. And uh, that's just very odd. 
You are a broom rider. If that deuce came, I really would have been speechless because this is already one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me. Set over set, one of the most horrific situations you can be in. I myself, on one of the few occasions in which I've played a higher stakes buy-in poker tournament, found myself in a similar spot against Gabe Kaplan. Cost myself a cool 20,000 on Poker After Dark. That one hurt. And this one's going to hurt as well for Dan Smith, who checks it. Over to Rainer Kempe. It sounded pretty painful. To the great Gabe Kaplan. But right now, Dan Smith has major problems. And sometimes it's OK to spell out the obvious. Dan Smith, after this hand, could easily be crippled. He may elect to just start check calling, but even so, unless a seven or nine of hearts rolls off, Kempe has a lot of great cards to barrel, get check raised in all likelihood, and this is just so brutal for Dan. And he's using the time extension here. Why do you suppose that is? He knows he's going to continue in the hand. Well, he's not uh, trying to make it look weak, is of he? Of course, no. He's he's trying to decide whether to call or 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 raise. I mean, there are times you are beat here, and again, being the the relative chip leader versus another chip leader. This is an interesting situation because. Might be well advised to simply call the flop. However, if he raises it, he does know that he will probably have to go with it. There are some extreme. 475,000. 475,000. Music to the ears of Rainier Kempe with two eights in his hand. A set. And he's got to believe he's golden here, right? He's not up against the 7-9. And probably not up against the two tens. Not impossible, though. Not impossible, for sure. Golden is is a touch more than what he's feeling, but he's feeling pretty good. It's one of these spots where two overs in the flush draw come to mind. Maybe I don't the think Smith Queen Jack check hearts. Yeah, no? exactly. I don't think Smith check raises Jack Queen of Hearts. The hand is too good. You kind of don't want to be forced to sort of fold it given stack sizes or or decide you have to get it in because you put yourself in a spot where you can't be using a time extension. Pot odds are just too good and, and this is a really sickening spot for Dan Smith. And I just don't know how I just went out there and said we haven't seen a vicious cooler. I feel bad for Dan. Of course, me saying that did not influence the flop, but it's very weird. I'm having a very philosophical moment. This is a situation where Rainer Kempe is that speeding commuter train, and Dan Smith is that car stuck on the tracks. In all likelihood, they will get it in. My, my only question, as crazy as it may sound, is there any way Smith finds a way to get away from this on the flop. Just given that we're on the bubble, he's such a great player. And Rainier and Kempe says, like I'm all in. Kempe's reached. Call. Snap yeah. call by Dan Smith. But you notice the trepidation in his voice. He called. He doesn't want to have to play this hand on the bubble. So Two sick. relative chip leaders. <laughs> Nine of hearts, all right. It's looking pretty thin at the top of the screen next to the outs graphic. He does have backdoor hearts. And of course, he can hit that six, but yes, 9% is pretty thin and, and just a deflating feeling for Dan at the moment. So brutal. He's rooting for a heart on the turn. Instead, it's an ace, and now he has one out, one time to avoid a massive blow. Unbelievable, really. Really. Set over set in this situation. Just 
horrifically cold. Dan Smith can't connect with the one outer on the river. Set over set, one of the grossest feelings in all of tournament poker. See three calls. Berkey, uh, undeterred by the outcome of the last hand, limping again, this time with ace-nine suited on the button. And again, Kempi and Holt so range-oriented in their preparations and, and have a, a lot of ideas on what they'll do versus certain styles. Often that style is a player who genu generally min-raises pre. Kempi with a real holding. Second he's straight time, he's raised the limp from Berkey. He's Berkey. got two sevens, and this time, Berkey is going to call for his whole stack, well covered by the chip leader, and at risk, he's behind with two over cards. And just like that. Is this kind of what Berkey was scripting? He was I saying, I'm going to continue to do this until I get the right opportunity to try to double? Yeah, I think, A, it reduces variance, and B, Berkey was hoping that Kempi and, and Holtz, to a degree, would start attacking his limps, and he would have some reships, much like this, which is very reasonable. And it's a multifaceted approach, one that in the next level, Berkey could stop limping and resume, so. But Berkey can win this pot. He will vault over Phil Helmuth for third and chips, but he's going to need some help, and the board Ooh. is seven high. Top set for Rainer Kempi and a very uphill climb for Matt Berkey. If he doesn't get help on the turn, he'll be drawing dead and done in fifth. Some possible splits. Certainly. Needs a spade, five or a six. And he does catch the wow. spade. Wow. There it is. Best case scenario. He now needs one more of those spades. Seven outs once for his tournament life. Rainer Kempi's thinking red card. Tension mounts, and here comes that river. It's a four, sevens full for Rainer Kempe, and the end of the road for Matt Berkey. Good game, Good game. Good game. Good You definitely win best dressed. Thanks. All in. We're moving all in here with the ace. Oh my. Oh, and he's been called. What is he up against? The ace-10 disaster for Ooh. Eric Seidel. <laughs> is that Fedor humming? Pretty odd spot to start humming. <laughs> I know me on my off days mood-wise may have had a choice comment or two for Fedor yeah. the songbird, but... <laughs> no doubt about it. Uh, maybe that's just the awareness that he... He balances his humming range. <laughs> the, the kids are really on top of everything these days. Look, if Seidel's out of here, that's that's an extra guaranteed 1.1 million in the Fedor's pocket, so... It certainly is, and for Eric, who's battled so hard, and for Holtz, what a huge equity pot this is. Yeah, 9-9 nine, nine Trey, there's some chop-outs here. There's always oh, hope for the short stock in this spot. <laughs> it's never easy. Kempi's going to have to sweat it out. Now picking up some more chop outs. Yeah, the ace on the nope. turn. Notice that paint. Can't win anymore. Rydell <laughs> cannot win the pot outright. That is correct. Very, very insightful observation. He does pick up many chop outs. Nine and ace, a king, queen, jack. Wow. Instead, it's a six, and that's wow. all she that's wrote good. for Eric Seidel, who really fought really hard. Thanks. There's, there's, you, a, you can't say enough about Eric Seidel. You just can't. How do you normally celebrate, Nick? And you make a big score. You got a, a go-to? That's a good question, Ali. Uh, First, you got to win one. <laughs> well, you, you, you know what? It, it, it's too late. And uh, why don't you keep your little jokes to yourself? <laughs> Two-time bracelet winner, one-time World Poker Tour There you go. There you go, Ali. I know. Thank you. I know who you are, buddy. I also have won multiple 
tournaments in uh, New York City underground clubs when I was 16, 17. Took wow. down quite a few, like, four or five player tournaments. <laughs> they know what's up. Oh, yeah. You guys know who I'm, who I'm talking about. Those Colossus events. They remember. $25 buy-in, six of us vying for New York City poker history. Right. 1.2 million. I myself. Based 1.2 million. What have we walked into? Looks like both players with a pocket pair. Holtz making it 400K with the Ducks. This is closest for Fedor. All in. Oh, and he says all, in. all in. Wow. And just like that, Kempe. And a snap all call in. from Kempe. Four to one favorite to take it down. Fedor with two Ducks. A four to one dog, roughly, and against Rainer Kempe's two just eights. For the, for the spot of two Germans being heads up and the guy winning with eight eight, it's kind of. <laughs> Kind of the cherry on top. Not sure uh, the Holtz winning. is seeing any cherries I'm on just, top I'm at the just, moment. You know, mentioning anticipating. Options. No, he's kind of got the steps. You know what? I won't be mad at you. I know you won't. I know you wouldn't be. I know you wouldn't be. Tend to believe Fedor there, but nonetheless, he's thinking deuce. Ten nine five. Running hearts, of course. But if Fedor doesn't help, Rainier Kempi is our 2016 champion, Ali. And the turn card is a four, <laughs> down to just two outs once for Fedor. Otherwise, Rainer Kempi is our champion. This is for a one and a half million dollar difference between second and first place money. Can Kempe seal it? Yes, Ooh. he can. And Rainer there it is. Kempe is your 2016 Ooh. Super High Roller Bowl that's champion. That's the all. <laughs> wow, and I didn't expect this uh, confetti shower. I, I was not told about this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody consulted with me. Give Holtz the ring. It begins in this city, in this venue, at these tables. 56 players will enter this room, each with a singular goal winning the Super High Roller Bowl. I would say that the Super High Roller Bowl is the best tournament of the year, and I say that with confidence. $300,000 gets you in, six million awaits the winner. Of the one event on Earth for the highest stakes with the toughest field for the biggest money. The 2017 Super High Roller Bowl, this is where it begins. Let's play some poker boys. And back down to the fell. This feels like last year. Somewhat, perhaps. A suited connector is is a nice hand to have in your small blind three betting range versus really any. Oh my goodness. And what about the is it nice when this happens? Because this is a classic. Uh oh. Wow, I mean. Top uh, set against a straight. A cooler like this, this early, involving Phil Helmuth is, uh, is really astounding. What sort of run out can Helmuth possibly get away from here other than four to a flush or a straight, perhaps? The, uh, the run outs that Helmuth gets away from kind of slow down the, the action anyway, were it to be an eight of clubs or jack of clubs. So, correct. of course, that's nice for Phil. Uh, this, it goes without saying, is... It's really problematic, and he does elect to raise the flop, and, and oh boy. Bottom, I'm as random seemingly as, as Phil can be, when he raises 7, 9, 10 with two clubs and a three bet pot, it generally indicates strength of some sort. Correct. Whether, it, whether it's. What's the bottom end of that strength, though? And Phil most of the time would call here on the flop with king, queen of clubs because he doesn't want to have to either get it in or simply incinerate that equity and Bonomo likes to call which is 
And he picks up a flush draw to go with his 10 high straight on the turn. Not that he's concerned about being up against Jack-8, of course. Does Phil find that, that pot control -y check button somehow with, with three tens? I don't think so, although there are vulnerabilities to this hand. Sometimes... And a lot of cards on the river you don't want to see. There, you do want to protect against a lot of cards you don't want to see, but you have to think about the overall scenario in the tournament. Everything comes into play. There are some benefits to checking here, but it's very hard. 60,000. Oh Justin boy. could easily uh, check jam here, That's given that he could pick up a variety of draws. 7x of hearts. This is going to be, in all likelihood, you may want to put the greens on the bottom. Just An all-in you know, from Justin, and, and oh, I know. wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, could King it. Jack of Clubs factor in here? Wait, I'm giving too much information. Certainly you fear King Jack of Clubs, uh, or more King more Jack in general, uh, if, if you're in Phil's seat. Uh, uh, same Although check thing. raising the flop with King Jack in general same. less likely, I would imagine, no? Could happen, same thing from Justin, you fear running into a straight. My God, there it is. And it's all in the middle. Oh my God, I escaped. Oh man, that's gonna be hard to pair the board. <laughs> oh my God. Elmuth needs I a seven niner queen here. Sense. Wow, do him out. 30 minutes, go get that. 10 will work anyway. as well. I will go take a time. Mm -hmm. 15. I just made it for the three bet trip before the fall. Mm -hmm. I knew you were gonna three bet me light a lot today. That's what I do. I know. Wow, what a flop for you. It's amazing. That depends on the river oh. card. <laughs> no, I said what a flop for you. Oh, yeah. my God. Wait till people get this update. <laughs> and the three on the river. Oh, my God. I'll try to outplay me. The best player in the world. I'm just going to re-race Phil with 8-6. He's going to flop top set. And I'm going to flop the straight. And the stack sizes begin to increase as the field condenses. I'm sure we'll see some even bigger pots. Wake up, cards. Ace 10 suited for Czar Rast. That was his online handle. It was. I've tussled with him many times, both online and live. You were the takeover. The take I still am the takeover. You still Ali. are, okay. I haven't rumbled with you online in so long. Yeah, I'm around from time to time when I duck out of the country and get that itch. Of course, oh. online poker no longer available except for specific states here in the U.S. Ridiculous. We're talking New Jersey, Nevada. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. A little bit shocking. Certainly disappointing for the big fans of the game. Everybody suited here. And the board, two clubs, queen eight six. Good. Rast with the nut flush draw, Hart with the flush draw and open-ended straight draw, and Katz with a pair of eights. Serious connection to the board via Rast and Hart, and given that Kevin is sporting a 20-some-odd BB stack, slightly more, I, I believe. Very likely to be going in here versus Rast. And sure enough, of course, the correct play for Kevin. And Rass says, I have to call. He happens to have the best hand, and it's got Kevin like in pretty rough shape. A two to one dog for Kevin, and, and rough shape indeed. Oh, I know, I just didn't want to see that. Yes, that's true. I want to see ace queen. Don't forget about the red nine. We're the red seven. Just put it straight out there. Blank it out, put it straight out there. Just anything but a club. Blank it out, put it straight out there. Got a wrap. A wrap about. It's a holding wrap. Minus the club. That's not my specialty. It's not really mine anymore either. And here's the turn card. It's a oh, flip that straight. So now it is Brian over a four to one dog hunting for those clubs. Only seven of them. You're lucky, dealer. You good. That's my girl. That's my girl, huh? Come on, mad dog. 
At least there's a Hold on, mad dog. Here comes the river. Yeah. It's a seven, yeah. and Kevin Hart. Whoa. Hart retains Whoa. life. Uh, kicking that <laughs> Kicking that <laughs> Oh, boy. Bogle saying wakes up with can aces. you please be quiet? I'm asking you a very nice thing. Yeah, you can't. Where, where is that in the room? Can, can, can you call the floor, floor, floor? You really can't floor, even say a word. Floor. That's not a roll in poker. Yeah, yeah, it is. What, talking? You can't talk right now. Only heads up. Everybody's getting a little testy, Ali. Oh, listen, a lot of money hanging in the balance. That's there. right. Stress getting to folks. So Kernick and Kuhn are about oh, to throw down. Hand. What's the rule? Even with three-handed, him three -handed, left it. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Can, can I have 30 extra seconds? Because I've been trying yes, to get him to stop talking. Yes, he should. Like calling him before. Absolutely, he should get extra time. I, I've used the time because I've spent You should have as much time as you want. It was a 115 when he called for the floor. It was a 115 when he called for the floor. I looked. Even if a player is all in, it's still considered a multi-way Not a word. My apologies. I was wrong. How much time was left? So Justin's already used the time extension, so he has until one minute. Here, I'll, 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 give him, I'll give him one of my banks. I'll forfeit it. Can I say something that was a munch of talking, so he really should almost start over? Bill Klein said that. Oh, let's not get carried away. How many time banks are we going to make up here? Yes. Justin, you agree That's fine. Reasonable? Okay, 30 seconds starts right now. So it's 648 more to call, right? 648,000 more to call, yes. I call. Call. You got aces? Yeah. You got aces. Let me wake up with aces there. All right. I just need a red queen, I guess. Damn, that's a good spot for aces, huh? This is my first all in. All in call. So it's sixes against queens against God, aces for is. far and away the largest pot that we have seen thus far in this year's oh, super high roller never, bowl with not vote. one but no, two players at risk in Vogel saying yes. and El Jefe carry cats. The 648 uh, that, or whatever it was that Bonomo just Frank. called now uh, also close. I, I would just... I need some help from the players at home, the, the very experienced players in these situations. I, I'm just not sure my... My knee-jerk reaction here is that Bonomo did not even need to call that initial 20 bigs, but certainly it's okay. And a lot of drama hey. to this flop as Bonomo picks up some sevens. Eight, nine, ten, and El Jefe picks up some jacks. Jefe, jack and queen hunting. Justin did also. Yeah, I can't wear the... Notice Vogel saying has 50% to win this hand. He's fading sevens, jacks, queens, sixes. Right. Yeah, you're right. Just yes. the smallest of favorites Boom. against the aggregate hands. What a nice card to see if you're Kristoff. Sure. What a massive, massive pot this is for him in terms of real world dollar EV. Right. I mean, 2.263 roughly. Oh my. Dramatic river. Rip his lip off there, Kristoff. Easy. Here comes the river. It pairs the board and Vogel two aces holds. And that is it. Deflating for Carrie Katz to wake up with two queens and ship out of the small blind. We know not what either player holds, simply that Schindler was the open raiser and Kuhn defended. Jason has checked it over to Jake, who is going to continue to the tune of 75,000 into the pot of 230. Hey. And I think Thanks it's a call. snap call from Schindler here. some straight draws from Kuhn. Well, it's a bottom set for Jake Schindler. Oh, the pair of eights, by the way. You do see a straight draw for Kuhn, which makes a lot of sense. 7-9. And Bonomo, the first man over there to root against Kuhn. No, that doesn't appear to be the case, but... The hovering over them is a bit odd, but... They're all good friends. It's been fun around either way, boys. I prefer to get there and be a pain in your <laughs> but sometimes you don't get to. It's hard not to like Jason Cohn.
That is the truth. Kind of, you kind of root for him here, you know. The pain of the money bubble looming of over him. It's hard not to root for him, especially given how many chips Schindler has. That he'll he'll be okay. And right. Can Jason Kuhn hit a six or a jack to complete a straight, make the best hand, and stay alive, or will he be the dreaded eighth place finisher? That'll it's do the it. latter. As wow. the deuce rolls off, and your pick to win it, Nick Shulman. He definitely, uh, he definitely made me and a lot of people proud with his stellar play, as always. Yep. Tough to bubble. Tough day for him. And we are one bust out away from drawing the curtain on tonight's action and setting the stage for the podium finishers. All in. Oh, is, uh -oh. oh, this uh, looks like possibly a bit much given the stack of Shalabal, but of course, Ace Ten of Diamonds. Hey, call, call. Quite a head. Oh my! Oh, oh my goodness! I got aces. Vogel saying with this the call. Is, this is why you don't do this when another player oh, at the aces. table. Oh, it's aces! Oh my Just God! And Vogel saying pacing because he. really expecting this situation and Shalabal just counting his lucky stars. You know, Sukarnik has kind of shown this propensity to to be willing to just gamble it up and ship it and, and kind of intimidate. And it got him here so far and Sukarnik has really played very well in a lot of spots. I think he overextended himself here given right. the stack of Shalabal, but Onto the flop we go. And could Shalabal be laddering up yet again? This is a major ladder up here. Here comes the flop. Leon's thinking diamonds. Only one available. A king out there. A dangler for that running Broadway. We got to put a diamond up there just to keep him drawn live, don't we? Or a, a runner to a straight. That's right, and, and uh, Christoph's thinking, just put the four of clubs course, out there. Yes. Here comes the turn. Oh, it is a diamond. The suspense is always there. <laughs> it's just never easy. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's a very expensive card that just rolled off for Vogel saying worth about, I don't know, hundreds of thousands in equity, probably less, but crazy. Can Sukernix snap aces? What is that king of diamonds worth? Here it comes! Oh, there it it's is. the three. Okay. Good game. Good game. Fourth place. Okay. And Sukernik finishing in fourth okay. place. Incredible showing for Sukernik. Round of applause it's warranted. Schindler now with Jack Eight suited. Call. Left right in there. Kristoff, as usual, taking his time, regardless of his range, and then making his decision, which is a check, and 10 trade deuce okay. on this board. Both players, of course, sort of connecting to this board as Schindler has some backdoor possibilities and swirling around that 10. And Vogelsang, top pair, seven kicker. A very good hand playing heads up. First, this smallish bet might Kristoff raise simply to get some chips in the pot which was with which what figures to be the best hand Call. no on to a turn oh look at that has to be the most fun turn card in the deck ollie yep. christoph makes tens and sevens schindler with a gut shot and a flush draw a very standard spot for Jake, of course, to continue betting. One assumes Kristoff will raise here. Ten seconds. Raise. 
And this is one of those spots, Nick, where that lack of time extension really looks to play in as Kristoff is check raised to 1.5 million, another 1-1 one, one for Jake to call. And I think Schindler's call here is quite standard and, and will be getting made. I don't think Schindler comes over the top here. Ten seconds. He calls, perhaps has some river bluffs in mind if he misses, but call. see what this river brings. Schindler finds himself as a three to one dog. Don't look now, there's three and a half million in the middle. This is a big one. And the river pairs the board with a deuce. And not necessarily your favorite if you're Vogel saying is any over pair now has tens and sevens beat, but uh, it was a limp pot pre flop. That's right, and I think Vogel saying feels quite confident with these tens and sevens. You're absolutely right. Of course, over pairs now do counterfeit the tens and sevens, but still certainly bet for value here. Two point three million. Two million three hundred thousand. 2.3 million from Christoph Vogelsang. That's mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes, it is. And Deuce of Clubs, of course, not the river Jake Schindler was looking for. 10 seconds. All in. Whoa. Oh, my goodness, Solly. Wow. Kristoff with only 30 seconds to decide here. I think tens and sevens is good enough, but man, it's a lot easier from up here. I did not see that coming, Ali. Schindler, all in. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Call. And Vogelsang makes, makes the call. Schindler's bluff does not get through. And that's it. Good game. Chris. We have our champion, Ali. Wow. Yes. It's one of poker's most exclusive tournaments. A $300,000 buy-in feeding a massive prize pool of over $14 million. 48 elite players came to test their skill in a four-day battle of strategy, aggression, and endurance. This is the 2018 Super High Roller Bowl. Uh, I don't think Chewy's ever been in a market. <laughs> Ace nine in Ivy's hand this time. He makes it 6,000 here on the flop with Top and bottom pair. Petrangelo sticking around as the third heart rolls off and gives him the flush. <laughs> that was a dramatic pause that I put in there, as so it wasn't self-evident. So I think Petrangelo's considering leading as he defends the big blind here. Yeah. The seven of hearts is rich with possibilities regarding Nick's range in form of the 8-10 and all the flushes and some two pair combinations. And the idea behind the lead here is that Ivy gets very pot controlly on turns with his ace X. And we want to simply build the pot with our flushes and charge certain hands that have equity. And oh my, Ivy, rivering nines full of aces. Petrangelo's hand absolutely strong enough to lead here and he will, and of course, Ivy will be raising either in the form of a shove. He goes so big that it looks like Ivy will shove this river. And, and Petrangelo is going to go into a tank, probably think aloud as he often does, and we will probably get some inner workings into his poker mind. And he, he graces has us Ivy with his thoughts. Well covered here. He does. I, oh, I like this. Yeah. I, I, why not? You know. This is going to be a difficult laydown for for Petrangelo. He might make it, but it's going to be tough. Is Ivy doing this with King of Hearts ten? Is he doing this with right the dry a seven? Flush. Does a seven ever do?
Jake Schindler, Paul Poir, Christoph Vogel saying, Timothy Adams, your final four as the sun is set on the Merritt Royal Hotel and Casino in Northern Cyprus. Welcome back to final table coverage, a super high roller bowl Europe. A look at the leaderboard, Jake Schindler at almost 4.5 million in chips. Christoph Vogel saying in second, Paul Foix in third, Tim Adams in fourth. Second, third, and fourth have less than 20 big blinds. Jeff Pot alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Brent expecting some action in this level, to say the least. Inevitable, Jeff. There's only 80 big blinds on the table. Uh, you know, still Schindler's world. We're all just living in it right now at the moment. And. You know, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, it's whoever had the healthiest dinner that's going to bring it home. Excellent point. That's why we bring you in for the analysis. Well, you mentioned the blinds. 50K, 100K with a 100K big blind ante. Final four guaranteed $880,000. A 400K pay jump from fourth to third. And ace jack for Timothy Adams. a time bank here. Yeah, well, we all know what's about to happen. Maybe trying to sell it a little bit. Yeah, with about eight bigs. All of it. Oh, Ooh. ace first oh card. My. It's a queen behind it, and here we go. Blind versus blind. Adams runs into it. It's the ace jack for our two-time super high roller bowl ring winner. Up against Paul Poise, ace yeah. queen. <laughs> Don't blame me for standing up. This is a big pot. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Queen, seven, like deuce. Two queen diamonds. diamonds. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw for Adams. He'll need runner, runner in some variety. Okay. Six of clubs, not going to do it. Good 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 Tim Good Adams Good. with another fourth place finish at Super High Roller Bowl Thank Europe. You. And Brent, that is four straight Super High Roller Bowl caches for Adams. The resume, remarkable for the Prince of Poultry, Tim Adams. As classy as they come, as talented as it gets. You said it, Jeff. Incredible showing once again by this stud from Canada. One of just two players to have multiple Super High Roller Bowl rings. The winner of Super High Roller Bowl Australia and Super High Roller Bowl Russia bows out in fourth for 880K. Another look at the payouts presented by GG. We're down to three, and that means a minimum payout of $1,280,000. And our next pay jump is worth 800K. And Vogel saying has found himself another pay jump. How another ladder for the tractor. You just can't get rid of Vogel saying. Locked up a podium finish here. Only two titles on his resume with more than $25 million in earnings. Can he take down number three here today? He has his hands full. Schindler all in. And that just He's works for Jake there. Schindler. Almost in cruise control at this point. How about Paul Poir? Yeah. You know, everyone can tell, oh, yeah, the businessman from the Triton series, co-founder. Well, he plays a very high level, high stakes games nonstop across the world. This means a lot to him. Serious competitor. And we'll pass the $23 million mark in career live tournament earnings when today is all said and done. That 
is quite impressive for the Triton co-founder. As Jake Schindler looks for his first super high roller bowl ring. Jeff, when the players were at dinner break, you pointed out something else about Vogel saying that I am, again, shocked to learn. I keep bringing up that he only has two career titles. Mm -hmm. How many second place finishes does he have? Can you fill us in on that? Sure. What'd you guess? I wonder. thought it would be like 10 to you 15. You would just assume it'd be huge. He has right. more than $25 million in career live tournament earnings. It's four. Unbelievable. Been heads up just six times. Unbelievable. Tens for Schindler. Small raise out of the small blind, but nothing doing for Paul Poir. Shouldn't they're making it look easy? Yeah, we have a nice hand that time, but you think back again before dinner break, what he was doing, how he was maneuvering, nonstop pressure, able to get away and accumulate, understanding these massive pay jumps, leaning on the shorter stacks, applying pressure left and right. And very prepared in case it starts raining inside the casino. Well, the Fonz, he's back. He's a little more hair gel, I think. You know, slick it back some, Schindler. Come on. King three. I could see him rolling into a local diner and just kind of... Posting up. At arms the bar. up, posts yeah. up. Ooh, jacks for Paul Fall. All of it, and that will get through. Milan in the chat says, "When you talk about the best players, you never, <coughs> you never hear Jake Schindler's name mentioned." Oh. I, I beg to differ. Danny Negreanu yeah. has stated over the last couple of years that he put Schindler at the top of his list. Now that clearly can change and alter during this solver era that we are in. A lot of great players, but Schindler certainly would considered to be one of the best. Schindler will move into at least fifth on the 2022 PGT leaderboard. With a win, he would move all the way up to third. Nine three suited for Schindler here. After Paul Min raised button. How about this? from Jake Schindler, just max pressure being applied. Knows that short stack and Vogel saying is lingering. And that's just well done by Jake Schindler. Just pouncing. My goodness. White chips were 25K a piece, red chips 100,000 each. 50 bigs out of the 80 in play belong to Jake Schindler. Ten 
10-9 off for Vogel Singh. Just going to hope for some chaos. Blind versus blind and perhaps an $800,000 pay jump. Schindler just continues the assault. Any two will do. Any position. He will play perfectly with this stack. Applying pressure, accumulating. Vogel now going to be in the big blind. Under a million when these chips go in. These four diamonds. All in. Clicks all the all in button. What we'll saying we'll squeeze a pretty one, but not one to call it off for. How much do you have now? Eight twenty five. Vogel saying stack dwindling. Eight hundred twenty five K in chips, eight big blinds. Ace four diamonds for Paul Paw. Fascinating dynamic here, knowing Vogelsang is short, knowing Schindler can just put so much pressure on him. Well, it really is, and you saw the three bet a minute ago by Schindler. Paul looking at Vogelsang's stack. Still not going to pass with ace four suited. Let's see if Schindler does it once more. Ten four suited. Same sort of situation, right? Suited hand. Certainly we can defend from time to time, but perhaps preflop optimal to just attack. Does he really think that Paul Poise is opening light twice looking to fold? Another sort of mind game being employed. So we'll just defend here at the 10-4 student. King King Jack, one spade, no diamonds. Pop bets them in. I love this out of Pois. He has clearly played a ton of these tournaments and understands your C bets do not have to be half the pot or three quarters pot. You can down bet all day. And all the way down to the minimum. Jake also understanding that Pois has adapted so well. It's got to feel good if you're Paul just to pick up something. That's a huge pickup for yeah. him, Jeff. We know Vogel saying under 800,000. Paul now back over 2 million. Some real separation created now between not only the 1 and 2 spots, but the 2 and 3 spots as well. Five deuce ain't going to be the one. Uh, the tractor has stalled out. <laughs> Just can't find a hand, can't find a spot. at 250, Paul with Queen 10, and Vogel Singh with seven bigs. Oh. We'll make the call. Schindler, a lot like Mayweather here, just jab after yeah. jab, scientific 
dismantling going on, and my goodness, Paul. Flops the stone cold nutter butters. An immediate adjustment by Schindler as well. No pair, no draw, just king high. Perhaps not going to place another chip in the middle. His whole plan was just to win it pre-flop, and if we connect post, great. No. We proceed. Otherwise, <laughs> we just get out of the way. <laughs> Shows the queen 10. <laughs> So hard to swap nuts, you know? Yep. That's true. Yeah. Just in case you didn't know. Yeah. Poker Go Hold'em's here. There it is. Free to play online poker. It's available in the Android store, the App Store on your computer, pokergohold'em.com. Poet Negranu, Helmi Fisfoundiare, Maria Ho. Brent Hanks, the voice. Of the game. Hall of Famer, Maury Escondani's in yeah. there. He's playing. El Jefe himself. He's Love got that. himself Five reds, right? a little account. Jeff, working on getting you in there. Six, seven, five, five, Let's five. do it. Just me, you, and a bunch of Hall of Famers, <laughs> buddy. Vogel saying running bad here in this 50K, 100K level. ว้าสับโกบิ๊กไบน์สูมาหูหูโตไผ่ถุยชะสิอีกาให้เสียงว่าโกบิ๊กไบน์เนี่ยตั้งให้เสียงเลี้ยงโกให้ลีนอ๋
million dollars in his fourth career Super High Roller Bowl cash. Yeah, a first place, a third place. Now more than $26 million in career earnings for the tractor. And that means we are heads up for the title, for the ring, for $3.2 million. We'll get all set for that. Schindler versus Poil. When we come back, you're watching Super High Roller Bowl Europe. most prestigious high roller tournaments is back with a three hundred thousand dollar price of admission and a three point six million dollar first place prize luring 30 day fight on the felt but only one will follow in the footsteps of brian rast reiner kempa christoph vogelsang and justin fonimo as the next champion their journey starts tonight at the fifth installment of the super high roller bowl is protect yourself at all times. I got to bet, yes. Uh, that was grimy. And I feel like it's grimy in a there, cash but, game. But, to say you got me or you got it or I can't call or any uh, of these okay, sorts of if things. If you look somebody in the eyes yes. and you're like, you got call. me, and then you get a read and you're, no, you don't, okay. call. Yes, it's a little grimy, but at the so same time, I wouldn't do it. I'm not advocating for angle shots, but it is protect yourself at all times. So fair I or would foul? Always say, foul in an icky, moral way. <laughs> Fair in a technical way? I, I, I don't know if it can be defined with just the fair and foul. It's gross, but it is protect yourself at all times. Be, make sure they fold if you're out there, if you're not sure. Makita's you know. not looking to protect himself as he has flatted Negranu's 5K open with two nines, or perhaps okay, it is in the interest of protecting himself, no. or his no, no, chips, no, no, rather. I can really do it not looking to bloat it, it pre. I was thinking right. like either bet in the dark or check in the dark, but none makes sense. In the dark would be sick. Neither makes sense. Like throw up 15K? That'd be sick. <laughs> 15 just said bot in the dark? I don't know. Oh, man, I have to look, see what comes. Okay, we've got some to work with here, right? You and me, let's go. We've got sixes, we got sevens, we got eights, we got straight draws, we got flush draws, we got all kinds. So, what we got to do here is Let's put check. one blue chip in. Oh, go ahead. Oh, five nine. I can think of a one card blue. that would create Easy. some spiciness. Or more, it's up to you. Yeah, Whatever. yeah, definitely. Hey, and that, of I course, the king of clubs. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm not asking for advice. And the next table to break. Yeah, I did, though. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna make table Oh, man. Okay. You don't like that bet? So, I so can't ask this. Right. It is the next time. <laughs> okay. In the event that we break the rules. Against the rules. Rules. Dad's ways is options. Mm -hmm. Do you should. Uh, 16. <laughs> comes to 16. Oh, okay. we 16,000. This guy, I knew it. I knew this freaking flop. Uh, Daniel calls. No, Daniel oh, under the gun oh, here. Me, man. Kind of repping the good pair. He can oh. have some of the stuff like this, but Do we leave this feature on this does have break. some big pairs yeah. here, given this line. And oh, oh so we'll still be wow. In she comes. And Negranu knuckles, by the way, turns the stone nuts. And it's going to look a lot like he's worried about the four-liner here with his range. Of course. Negranu can have 10 10. He can have the Ooh, jack 10 babe, suited. You'll feel it. So good. <laughs> I think Bats so bets this, bets Nick. Right now. Oh. It's a great hand. <laughs> we see. Yeah, buddy. It's a little under a three to one dog running into the absolute of disaster bazooka of the world. You think he just checks back so he yes. can call all bets on the end? Aces, kings, Watch and queens this. are now bowing out. We might be well served oh. to check. <laughs> Nines full yeah. on the well, end. The turn Nikita brought it away. The turn and the out. river brings it back in. And uh, yeah, tough one for Daniel. Switch it up now. It's it's actually going to be tough for Daniel to give Makita credit for a boat. The nut straight is is strong here. Not that many boats, Ellie. Exactly right. <laughs> it's very strong. <laughs> I played good cards. I That's right. Pretty good, good cards. Pretty good cards. <laughs> yeah, card. Sixty thousand. That's really bad news for me. Ooh, I was gonna do it to you, really, for real, on the turn. No. I was really gonna do it to you on the turn. Hmm. All right, I need a minute for this one. If he folds this, Ali, uh, I'll be pretty blown 16, away. 16, 32. So none of that matters. You either got it, or you either got it, or you don't. Question is, what the, what could you have that? It is under the gun, under the gun one. Full house makes a lot of sense, right? Seven handed. I'm gonna use one of these because I'm, I'm gonna take my time. So, full house. Which full house? 
see. Sevens or eight. Sevens or sixes. Sixes or sevens. You would check back the turn for sure. 60,000 now. Um, hmm. I think my hand might be too good to fold, but. Hmm, ho hum. Let it go one time, Daniel. What do you have, though? To raise me on that slot. Not that, because you bet that. Yeah, I think you just have a full house, bro. Whoa. Or a really solid, crazy next level bluff. Or maybe you just have a 10. That's the thing. It's weird. Either deer. Hmm. 10 seconds. Does he come with this? I still haven't made up my mind yet, so I'll use it. No, he comes with the right, second time sure. extension. Okay. So, get on in. <coughs> I raised, that was the button, so I was under the gun here. I don't have. Um, Good player. Good, good player. If you bet less, I would have paid a long time ago. 60 into 47. I'm try to win, like you said. I'm trying to win. Otherwise, I wouldn't use two of those. We are heads up for the Super High Roller Bowl Europe title. Heads up for $3.2 million for 600 points on the PGT. And for a super high roller bowl ring. Welcome back to the beautiful Merritt Royal Hotel and Casino. We're in Northern Cyprus. We're looking at the payouts. This look presented by GG Poker. $3.2 million to first, $2,080,000 to second. Jake Schindler taking the chip lead into heads up play against Paul Poir. Jeff Pot alongside Brent Hanks. So Brent, here we go. Heads up for the ring. Let's do it. Anything can happen, Jeff. We've done this time and time again. Heads up is just a different animal. See if Paul can get a little heater going. Still 23 big blinds. Yeah. Plenty of depth. Almost a 3-1 to one chip lead for Jake Schindler as we kick off heads up play. We're still at 50k, 100k with a 100k big blind ante. And Schindler has fours right off the bat. Difficult hand to maneuver with post-flop. Just limping. I think it was either limp or, or simply just rip it in pre-flop with a small pair. Maybe he had plans if Plon just raised there instead. He'll check and see a jack high flop. These are fun bets, right? This sort of two fours on this texture, blind versus blind. What Jake can eliminate is Paul never has tens, jacks, and unlikely threes. Probably would have shoved all three of those hands pre-flop. So in the event that we do get called, fours are clean outs, obviously. And anytime we get check raised, it's just an easy fold. There is that check raise. Three hundred fifty thousand. Really giving this some serious thought. Maybe we have the four of clubs in our hand. We can take one off. We will continue here. One million in the pot. To start off heads up play. Queen of clubs on the turn. Paw adds a gut shot. Schindler does add that flush draw.
Well, and if Schindler thinks that Paul had a hand like 8-9, queen-9, maybe queen-8, everything comes home. Obviously, clubs get there. No, we get any more time back for heads up, no? No. The man, the man director heads up. I can't tell. Yeah, Is he give out of banks? No, I mean. Usually not, but whatever. Oh, you usually decide. not, then no. In, okay. Usually it's a six, but if you, if you want, we no, are. No, no, it's okay. So, Paul said, if you usually don't, then no more. And now he checks. Jake the snake. A lot to think about what here. What are we up hand. to? Yeah. Check. Check, check. Seven of diamonds on the river. Pause jacks are good. Coming for it with 650,000. Wow. I mean, this is filthy by Jake for Paul. It's like, what are, what are we now beating? This guy called my check raise. Everything comes home on the turn. It night, king nice flush. Yeah. He said just what you said. Wow. That's sick from Holy Jake Schindler, ladies and gentlemen. My gosh. Understandably difficult for Paul to find many bluffs there. Whoo! Holy kid, let Jake Schindler. What a superstar. Finished second at the 2017 Super High Roller Bowl. Schindler 27 and 30. Lifetime heads up. Paul, 4 and 5. Button Schindler has had some big wins in his career. Won a 100k WPT event. 100k in Barcelona. 25k PCA. But this perhaps would be the signature victory on top of the resume. 
Off ops of five here. I believe looking for his second $3 million plus score. Yeah. You mentioned that runner up finish to Christoph Vogelsang back in 2017 at the Super High Roller Bowl. Paul also looking for a second $3 million plus score. Finished in second place at a 100K Triton event in London. Unless we see Schindler do the unthinkable once again and run an elaborate bluff. Paul Bois has a massive hand here. Look at this. He's got the best pair with the best heart. Schindler just four high and a two a deuce high flush draw. Bet designed to put a ton of pressure on an eight or a five. Even if we do get called, we're hoping that that deuce of hearts is live and he's going to win it again. again. Holy cow! Jake Schindler has been impressive throughout the entire day. Finds himself close to a title. Pawn down to less than 15 bigs. Schindler checks. King 5 4, two clubs. Paul pops the flush draw. wins. Schindler with a seven. All in. All in. Good enough. Paul Lemson Schindler checks the 6-3 suited.
I'll take that one down. <clears throat> there is the Super High Roller Bowl Europe ring. The 14th to be awarded. Is that right? 14 rings now have been distributed? Wow. To Brian Rast, Reiner Kempa, Christoph Vogelsang, Justin Bonomo three times, Isaac Haxton, Kerry Katz, oh. Daniel Dvoris, Tim Adams twice, Victor Malinovsky last year right here, and Michael Adamo. An illustrious group to join. Four on the turn. Um, well, well, good looking four. So pretty. I'm gonna stay locked in on it. Uh oh. There we go. Are we back? Pois bets 150k. Well done by Pois with just five three. Gain a little momentum. Shouldn't learn with that patented smirk, and we move on. Jake Schindler entered the day as the chip leader. Wa was in second. And has a pretty one here in the form of the Ten Nine of Hearts. All in. All in. Just says all of it. The waters are getting a little choppy in northern Cyprus. We're well, paddling through. Yeah, bear with us. Hit a couple bumps. That's why Jake wore the rain jacket. He knew. The storm was brewing. Schindler with what I believe is ace nine. <laughs> Not sure if it's suited. What do you think Paul has? Uh, King, King three, three, three of King hearts, three parts, maybe I ten think. Three or no? Yeah, we'll get this situated, yeah, here, folks. Bear with us. It happens from time to time. Let's Ace nine of clubs uh, for Jake Schindler. King three of hearts for Paul Poir. Yeah. And Schindler limped in. Poir made it three fifty. Is it go time? I think so, Jeff. Uh, part of the limping strategy for Schindler. Glance over to Paul while he reached for a chip, it. says all of it.
Pop holds the king three. Pick up for Schindler. Okay, so we're going to hop out real quick. We'll be back as soon as we can with more heads up from Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Okay, we're back just like that. Much better. Much better. There we go. Nice job, Jeff. That, that was, was all you. That was producer Aiden. Oh. Yeah, producer Aiden, the guy knows how to work. He's the magic back there. He's been with you guys for the last week and a half or so. Yes, he has. Excellent work in dealing with these kind of technical issues that pop up from Cyprus. He handles them very well, works very hard. He's in here at 3 a.m. every day. That's early. First one here, last one to leave. Yep. So bravo, Aiden. Pleasure to work with you. Aiden Perizzo. I like to call him Perizzo. And he's like, I'm not Italian. Okay. Queen 4-3. Poin flops a pair of queens. Check's turn. How much? Two hundred fifty. Check calls turn. Six on the river, one million in the pot. Poil with 900k behind. Just nine high. Schindler does not have showdown value. Question is, does he decide to simply give up if we think Pla is calling a high percentage of the time? No give up in Jake Schindler. Nine. Gonna put Pla to the ultimate test. For every single one of his chips. What bluff? What bluff? Again, hard for Pla to nail down too many bluffs. Four? Wow. It worked again. Oh, only 
flush. I think. Oh, I thought he said full. Four. Four. Oh. Time bank used for an additional 30 seconds to act. It's just, you know, Jeff, it's one of these things where you've got top pair, a large chip deficit. Sometimes you just have to pay them the money. Your hand is too good. Sometimes Awfully. on the emotional level, you're thinking he can't have it every time. Right. You know, it, this is probably pretty thin by Schindler, but he's pressing the envelope. Sees the door open. The five also, just a key card in the yeah. hand, right? We yeah. blocked the straights. Also, you know, miss backdoor clubs. I think the longer he thinks, the he, he certainly should decide on a call here. Another time bank used. Not going to get much out of that man. Facing a decision for his tournament life. And lays it down. Wow. Schindler does it again. Wow. Schindler just in the zone Ooh. right now. Getting all these bluffs through. Paul giving him a lot of credit for not bluffing in these spots. Schindler's eating it up. And now Paul under 10 bigs. Queen four. He shoves. Schindler calls oh, with wow. Queen Jack. Here wow. we go. Oi, go. Pua all in at risk and way behind. With a title on the line, along with $3.2 million, along with 600 points on the PGT. Nine big blind, what you do? Along with a super high roller bowl ring. I thought the top pair last hand. Why you have last hand? Schindler entered the day as chip leader. <laughs> we ended as our champion. King 8 3. No help to Poir. Looking for a 4. Can he find it on the turn? He cannot. He'll need to find it on the river or this tournament is over. River card. Schindler oh, earns his hand. first ring. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Wow. A well-deserved round of applause for Jake Schindler. He is our super high roller bowl Europe champion. He wins. $3.2 million. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he deserves this ring. Woo! A runner up finish in 2017. Not today, taking home the title, the ring, 3.2 million. Give it up 
for Jake Schindler. Just a master class from the very beginning of this final table, from the very beginning of this tournament. He's the champion of Super High Roller Bowl Europe. Took him five more years after that second place finish, but he got the job done. What a showing. Thanks so much to our crews in Cyprus and in Vegas. Thanks to Brent Hanks, most importantly. Thanks to you all for watching Super High Roller Bowl Europe. See you soon.